All right. So I'm here to play chapter two, which is wild that this exists. Um, I just played the entirety of chapter one yesterday. It took me 12 and a half hours because it took me just shy of 90 minutes <laughs> to make it to the first save point because I'm Lauren and I talk a lot. I actually started off yesterday's stream. I was really actually kind of nervous and not because I was like, oh, there's going to be like people viewing me and I get nervous about crowds, but because I had this whole like... I don't know. I've gone through like a radical personal transformation over the past six years since Undertale and three years, somewhat less radical, three years since uh, chapter one. And so I had this whole like, am I this, like, am I going to let people down because I feel like I've changed so much? And so I had this whole like little like talk through that. Um, and ultimately what I kind of settled into is like, it felt the same when we were, when we were playing the game, like I felt like I was, you know, like my laugh I feel has changed even. And yet it felt like it was like real and comfortable and I was having fun and everyone was having fun. And I kind of like forgot that I was streaming. Like it's a, like a, a, a performance thing. Like I was just like, no, I'm just, I'm doing this. I'm in my zone. Um, and so I feel like maybe, <sighs> thanks folks, um, maybe for all the changes that I have undergone and all the major life changes that I've had and the fact that I was literally crying on stream yesterday at the start of things talking about this. Yeah, maybe in the, in the, the core of me is still the same and it's the core of me that resonates so much with Toby Fox's way of doing things. Um, how have I changed? Oh gosh, okay. I'll try to give you the actual Cliff's Notes version so that we don't take an hour and a half to get to the first save point here. Um, as far as, um, as far as like the, the, the objective life changes, part of that depends on when you last saw me. If you haven't seen me since Undertale, which was 2015, 2016, um, I have in that time, uh, gotten divorced finished a graduate degree, uh, moved across the country and then back again for something that didn't work out, went through a whole bunch of trauma in 2018 and 2019 that was really hard to live with, um, lost both of my cats in 2019, late 2019, moved to Canada, um, and had been living, have been living in Toronto, um, for like a few months when the pandemic hit. So like, the, that's just like the Cliff's Notes version of like the things that have different, the, the things that have changed in my life. Please bear with me if my words are a little bit scrambled. I had a 12 and a half hour stream yesterday, finishing up <laughs> chapter one, replaying it because as I mentioned, there was some trauma in 2018 and early 2019. Um, and, uh, and unfortunately one of those side effects of that for me is that my, my memory, um, has been kind of rocky for a little while anyway um but it was really like i mean folks i feel like i feel like anyone who watched me yesterday <laughs> can attest to how little i remembered from the game um so uh so uh i uh, i remembered a few like a handful of things uh but uh but I'm really glad that I redid that. It was super fun. It was a nice challenge to myself to, uh, to, I didn't mean to stream that long, but I'm glad I did. Um, yeah. Uh, as far as like how I've changed personally, like, well, I've come out as gay. <laughs> That's a big one. I know I've had a lot of self-exploration about like identity and who I am, and I'm still kind of on that journey right now, but I basically decided that I wish to transform myself into Lot Cole as much as possible. <laughs> he is, I don't know, it's, it, I'm joking, not joking. Um, but no, uh, so I feel like I've gone through a big journey of figuring out who I am and what I'm like. And I had a lot of time in my life that I was trying to be who and what other people wanted me to be. Um, so, oh my goodness, Sophie is protesting the fact that I am on the computer again. If you hear a clatter, that's her trying to get into the cupboard under the sink. Um, yeah, sorry, I'm just gonna kind of do my little, like, I guess I'm gonna do my preamble a bit anyway. Um, no, when people told me that they thought I was like Toriel, it always hurt because I felt like Frisk and not like Toriel, but Toriel was what people thought that I was supposed to be. Um, and uh, and so I, I guess I'm here to say that that's not who and what I am and I'm, I'm owning what I am and who I am instead. Uh, Trib, did you just, did, 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 oh, wow. 
Trib, thank you. That's a lot of, that's a lot of subs. Wow, friend. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Um, Trib Dinosaur has been um, a very friendly and supportive person that I've, I've talked to, I think mostly on, on Twitter. Um, but you've come in here with a, we're going to hear a whole lot of his theme on flute. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> I think I can actually turn off the sound for that if you folks don't mind. Oh my god, that's so many. Oh my god, Jester! Jester, you too! Sorry, I'm gonna turn this off a little bit so I can finish talking a bit. Oh hey, your computer! I'm sorry, I love your name. I've always loved your name. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> your computer and Yay Cake are two of my favorite, um, two of my favorite Twitch handles anyone's ever had. I'm sorry, they're just both really good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for your kindness and your generosity. Um, but yeah, so uh, so th this is this is what you're getting, folks. You're getting a Lauren who is the uh, I guess the the uh, closer to the real Lauren because after a lot of soul searching, I managed to figure out some things about who and what exactly that was versus the Lauren that was filling the roles and expectations that other people had of her. Um, so if you notice that I seem a bit different, hopefully you'll like who you see. Um, but, uh, but I feel a lot better about myself and life in general. I'm happier and healthier and stabler and feeling more complete than I ever have in my life. So would definitely recommend if you're in a position to do so digging deep into yourself um, and getting some of those answers they may not be what you think you're gonna find um but i think they'll be good and i think that like the undertale world of games is a really good way to explore that sort of thing um because as we were playing through chapter one yesterday so much of what I was observing was Chris being who and what other people were projecting on them, whether it was them interpreting their actions and by them, by it was whether it was other people interpreting Chris's actions um, and, 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 and kind of pro projecting um, expected reactions or thinking that Chris would be reacting the same way they were. Um, like Susie expected Chris to be really negative and, and hateful and judgmental towards her at the beginning. Um, when Chris does nothing to indicate this. And Ralse is always like, um, Chris and I believe this. And I'm like, Chris did not indicate that in any uh, capacity. Um, and so I feel like a lot... <laughs> I, I will two-face heavy. Um, all of this stuff, but I'll have a, I'll have a link, timestamp. So if you want to skip the preamble, I'll give you that option. Um, Polar Antics, thank you so much for following. Um, oh, thank you, Trib. Happy, happy birthday. And thank you. Usually we give people gifts on their birthday, but thank you for giving me a gift on your birthday. Um, oh, thank you, Too Face Heavy. Yeah. I hope that this can be a fun time for everybody. Um, I, I talk more than I did during Undertale, but I'm also better at video games than I was during Undertale. So I may die less often, although we will see, because uh, not only did I stream for 12 and a half hours yesterday, but then I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I literally might have gotten anywhere between half an hour and four and a half hours of sleep. I'm not sure, because a lot of it was just laying in the dark being like, am I sleeping? Am I sleeping? I got up in the middle of the night and by the middle of the night, I do mean like six in the morning for me. Um, and like finished a fanfic chapter and posted it and then tried going back to bed. So I was like, surely this will reset my brain so I can sleep. And it didn't. So, uh, so yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I might be a little, my reflexes might be a little slow. We were noticing that towards the end of yesterday's stream, which was mostly just a problem with like final boss. And I did for, I saw some folks asking, I did try fighting Javel because I was like, I'm actually doing better at this bullet hell stuff than I was in Undertale. Unsurprisingly, if you haven't watched or kept up with my streams, I've beaten Dark Souls, friends. I have beaten Dark Souls and Celeste with relatively minimal use of assist mode. And I'm playing through Hades. So it turns out that I'm not terrible at video games and can play things that are harder. Uh, it, it turns out 
that if you practice at things, you will get better at them. Even things like spatial reasoning. The game Talos Principle. Don't ask me about Talos Principle unless you want an entire rant um, of how that game is absolutely perfect and amazing and everyone who can play it should give it a try. Anyway, that game taught me to have spatial reasoning after a lifetime of teachers and everybody being like, wow, Lauren is not, she needs a little extra help with her spatial reasoning. So it turns out that practice is amazing and you can get better at things no matter where you start. You won't necessarily finish in the same finish. You won't necessarily move forward as quickly as other people, um, but you will still move forward from where you were. So like, I'm less bad at bullet health, unless the gameplay is about to radically change, which could happen. So, all right, that's the, that's the like preamble of where we are with Lauren. As you can tell, I talk a lot still, maybe more, um, but, uh, Man, if Talos Principle goes to the Switch, I will be telling everybody in the world to play it. it, it you do have to, I, I don't even like puzzle games, but it's one of my favorite games ever. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about what does it mean to not spoil things? <laughs> what does it mean to not backseat? Unlike my Undertale... Oh! Oh, okay, I'm not going to fully embarrass him, but if you've only seen us, sen if you haven't seen me since Undertale, you'll be glad to know that Chrono is now my head mod, and he will be whacking you with the with a mod hammer if you backseat. So, <laughs> um, no, uh, so the, the rules of, uh, <laughs> okay, so Cr what Krona is doing is he's doing the, oh, stop, do go on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Chrono, Chrono, if you'll remember, Chrono was, was a very enthusiastic backseater <laughs> when we played Undertale <laughs> and a few other games. And, and bless him, he really, really was trying so hard, but it was really hard and we didn't quite clearly communicate what exactly backseating was. Um, <laughs> he did get muted a few times, um, but we, we, we worked on it. We had conversations and, uh, and anyway, now he occasionally, when I'm playing Hades, for example, he'll be like vibrating and be like, Lord, please, please let me give you a hint. Please. I want to tell you about this mechanic that you've seen before and have forgotten. Um, but otherwise we do good. We do well. But yeah, so, so Chrono, see Chrono, you're memorable. Chrono has a character arc in the, in the plot of Lore and the Flute streams. <laughs> oh my god amazing i'm sorry chrono he's actually a delightful and wonderful person we've now met up in person um we've hung out he's my beta reader for my <laughs> massive 135,000 word no i think it's up to 140,000 words now because i posted a chapter last night of final fantasy 6 fanfic so like yeah, chrono is awesome um so just if you see him around and you've only seen him in undertale <laughs> He's going to be, he's, he's like one of our, like, you know, top mod, top mod BFFs. So it's great. But unlike, unlike Undertale, we have a Discord now. And, and there is not one, but currently two because of the specialness of the Delta Rune chapters. Two special spoiler channels that I don't go to. They are locked to me. So you can go in there and yell your vaccinedness or frustration or excitement or whatever it is that you are bubbling over with in a nice contained area with other people who understand <laughs> and are there with you. I've been told it's a lot of fun, especially when I pause everything to talk for 10 minutes about electric guitars right before a really important story scene. <laughs> <laughs> look forward to that um but i feel like if you've watched the undertale stream you saw me backtrack through the entire game on my way to metaton so <laughs> yeah some things change some things stay the same um but yeah so so follow that discord link if you want to ask the mods like say hey give me spoiler channel access and they can direct you in the right direction um but yeah so spoilers Please don't do any of the super clever, man, I can't wait until she gets to mysterious person. Oh, 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 she's coming close to thing. Thing is coming close. Thing is coming close. You do that in the spoiler channel and then you can even talk about what thing is and everyone will be excited. But I will be surprised by things if I don't know something cool is coming. Also, if I fail to understand basic game mechanics, I'm sorry, but that's probably going to happen at some point if they change anything. <laughs> Fortunately, the game actually managed to explain itself to me okay um, yesterday, but we'll see because I wouldn't put it past Mr. Toby Fox to make a major change. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, I am close to starting the game. Half an hour? Not even half an hour because I, I hit stream play start 
early, late, late, late is the opposite of early. Um, yeah, so no fake spoilers, please. Um, just generally, we'll try to avoid that. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, I, to be fair, I had played Deltarune before. So it was kind of building on something that had been in my brain before, whether I remembered it or not. So, so I want to say, I want to say, um, so I know so little about chapter two that the reason why I am wearing a scarf today, other than the fact that it's rainbows, is because I don't know if Ralsei is going to be in it. And so this is in honor of our fluffy goat boy, <laughs> because I know that Chris and Susie will be. And I know we're going to be in the light world, but I don't know what's going to happen when we go in the dark world. So the power of fluffy boys is here with us. <laughs> yes, if I specifically ask for hints, um, I will either say yes or no. Is this question only answer my question with yes or no? Or if I'm like A or B, you can be like B. Um, if I want a hint to try to simplify or rather to, to try to make it harder to spoil our back seat i request that hints be given to me in the form of a hint coup <laughs> because the process of trying to make a haiku of something forces you to obscure it a little bit because when i ask for a hint i want like a nudge a little nudge but most of the time i will be talking to myself um so you feel free to ask like are you asking that question lauren do you want to know or is that rhetorical I'm happy if you ask that. I don't mind. I'll probably be like this. I'm just talking to myself, um, but I don't mind being asked that. Um, yes, one of these days we'll get a chat hat. Um, I had I had a mushroom somebody made for me, like a confusion mushroom, but it was big and didn't uh, didn't uh, fit in the frame. Um, but yeah, the, the hint coup is the way. A hint Marik, I think, might be too long. <laughs> it is true that this game series because I think that we can count Deltarune as being part of the Undertale series, honestly. I think that, that as I replayed through Deltarune last night, that became much more apparent to me than I think I realized the first time through. Um, so I think we can call it a series. Um, and as Toby Fox has said, Deltarune is a game for people who've played Undertale, even if it's not a sequel. Doug! Doug, 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 Doug! Shout out to Drum Ultima, folks! who is an incredibly talented musician, an incredibly kind and wonderful person. If you like Undertale music covers and you haven't yet heard um, Doug Drum Ultima, um, his cover of the song Undertale on Marimba, it's, I cannot hear it without crying. I, I, saw, I saw him, I've seen him perform it live, I think twice and sobbed both times. It was amazing. So, uh, so you should, you should absolutely follow Doug. And he also streams lots of great music and stuff. So yeah, no, Doug is, Doug is, Doug is one of the most stellar, outstanding humans I know. Um, and I'm privileged to call friends. So you should give him some love. Um, <laughs> um, also the world's biggest Mewtwo fan. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, yeah, Deltarune does feel like like uh, Toby Toby's AU in a way, although I know some of the ideas he came up with first, but I don't think that he actually came up with the the game first, you know? Like, I think that this was built around Undertale existing, but I suspect that the thematic elements that he's exploring are things that have been in his head for a long time. And I feel like it's in a really good dialogue with Undertale as far as the name... Um, or not the name, as, as far as, sorry, somebody was, somebody was asking name and I read the chat. This is the problem. When I'm trying to keep up with chat, I'm trying to talk. There's a lot. Um, I feel like, to me, it feels as though Deltarune was created with an understanding of both, like, what went into Undertale and what it means to people. Because it feels like, thematically, the two are in dialogue with each other. Because the, one of the big questions that both of them are asking is, like, who are you? And what does it mean to know who you are um and this the, the idea of, of 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 choice is different too the idea of choice is central to both of them undertale is all about the fact that you can choose you can wake up and not choose violence um and deltarune tells you at the very beginning that choices don't matter 
And yet I get the strong feeling that they do because the characters themselves make choices that affect things in their lives and how they relate to other people. So it's not the choice, it's not the sort of like, like desperate um, and, 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 and doomed uh, railing against uh, against predetermined fate, um, which is a lot of times when people say choice doesn't matter. That's kind of what they're going for. Um, but I th I think that I think what we're going to wind up getting is um, being told that our choice choices don't matter and learning that actually we can make them matter. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, um, Dark Buddhist. I think that does make sense because 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 for example, Undertale is a uh, I feel like Undertale has so much going on. There's layers, and that's something that I love about Toby Fox's games. Um, but one of the layers is a commentary on how players approach games and just getting you to think about what that means um, and, and the choice that you're making and how to play a game. And so once again, he's playing with that. And something that we kept talking about yesterday as I was streaming chapter one is that um, because we know that he tends to subvert expectations, we now expect him to subvert expectations. So he's going to subvert our expectation that he's going to subvert our expectations. Um, so bye dog thanks for dropping by it was good to see you um but uh but uh but so so at this point i have literally no idea what's going to happen like i said i don't know if ralsei is even going to be in this chapter i have no idea what's going to happen i've picked up on some hints that one of the five things that i remembered clearly from chapter one the first thing that I mentioned that I remembered clearly was that Noel was very gay for Susie. I have done a marvelous job of avoiding spoilers about chapter two, but I suspect that that's going to become more relevant, which is part of why it's the rainbow scarf that I chose to wear today. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so he'll subvert the subversion of our subverted expectations. That's correct. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to see what happens so i will be doing that kind of thing the thing that we just did where i was like let me talk about what i noticed about chapter one and kind of what i'm thinking about it and where it's going and that sort of thing we're gonna be doing so much of that if you haven't watched me in a long time um we refer to that as mini golfing now when i'm like speculating about what's going to happen and pulling things together that's a reference to my final fantasy 10 stream <laughs> Um, they're, they're, we don't have a whole lot of those little inside jokes, but I'll fill you in on them if you don't know what they are, or chat can continue filling you in on them too. Chat is on this screen, game is on this screen, so you're going to see me looking from here to here to here to here to you. Um, and as long as that's not too jarring, then we'll be fine. All right. So we're going to dive on in. Are we ready? Are we ready to stop hearing the woo woo woo? Woo 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 All right, I'm seeing some answers to the affirmative. So I will stop doing the woo woo woo. All right, we're gonna do this. Somebody laughed. Is that, is that Javel? Javel laughed. I just, okay. I just want you folks to know, going into this. <laughs> okay, so I've done a fair number of Undertale covers. Um, I haven't done a Delta Room cover yet. If I do, it's going to be The Legend, um, which has been stuck in my head for the past day, alternately with, alternating with a uh, Field of Hopes and Dreams. Um, Yes, this is minutes. This is this is how many how many minutes it took me to beat chapter one. I have a talent. I have a gift for talking too much. <laughs> so if you hear the joke, I made it to the first save point in under 90 minutes. I made it to the first save point in 89 minutes and 59 seconds. <laughs> and it is saved for posterity, so you can see that it is true. <laughs> which I feel is incredible. <laughs> um, no, so... 
I'm gonna be making fun of The World Revolving because everyone I know made a cover of The World Revolving and I didn't listen to it because I, I, knew I, I knew I didn't play that fight the first time around. I was like, this song is gonna be amazing because everybody covered it. And then I finally heard it and I was like, what? Why? Everything else in the game is better than this. So every time we'd have like sweet electric guitars and stuff come in, I'd be like, better than World Revolving. So that's probably gonna continue. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> like it's fine don't get me wrong but like why would you cover that when you could cover like electric guitars like Susie's theme on the lonesome electric guitar man yeah no it's totally fine Vanessa a lot of people I know think that I was shocked that I didn't but uh but I'm really happy with a lot of the music in the soundtrack and I would really like to hear what's going to be in the chapter two. <sighs> man. Oh man, yeah. I mean, Jules, every, every, like, I just love electric guitars. So Jules goes 100% on the electric guitars and I'm like, yes, do that. Um, I really liked Megalovania personally, but uh, as a song, all right, so this is interesting. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about the music for a few seconds. <laughs> um, the King's Boss theme. Was, no, that, that was awesome. That's one of the ones where I was like, why do people not cover this? Why do they cover the world revolving instead of this? This is a better song. <laughs> I just also want, want to be clear that when I say that, it's because I think it's funny. <laughs> And not because I actually want to disagree with or criticize anyone's taste, because it is a good piece of music. It's just not my melodramatic electric guitars taste. <laughs> um, so, uh, so completion file, I, and the fact that you can choose not to use your file is interesting. And I'm going to choose to read into that and say that there's going to be some significance there. Made on scene credits, which is good. Rude, I mean, Rude Buster is a great song. Um, yes, Noel Girl is correct. The King's Boss theme rendered me to silence, so... I mean, music is better at doing that than most other things, and electric guitars. Like, the part where it kicks in and the drums come in, and you're just like, oh yeah, this is amazing. That's a good song. That's a good song. I'm gonna go looking for covers um, after this, and fan art. So, oh, one more thing. We're probably not gonna beat this today because I don't think I have a 12 hour stream in me again, not after yesterday and then literally not sleeping last night, I think, despite my best efforts. Um, but um, we'll pick up next weekend and I will communicate that. So, God, Asgore's theme is my favorite song. Okay, Stannis, The Legend is my favorite song. In the, in the game. That's the one that I want to cover. And I wanted to cover when I first heard it, and maybe I'll get around to it at some point. <laughs> Is it a figured Ravi? Um, I just really like electric guitars, okay? But I don't have to, I don't have to play guitar because I have so many guitarist friends who are fantastic. So I just am like, hey, I need electric guitar for a thing. Could you just make guitar happen? And then they do it. Um, This is really chill and pretty, and I well, something that I really, I really um, admire about Toby Fox is his ability to balance humor and drama, which is something that I, not shockingly, not very funny, and I lean more towards the dramatic side of things. Who would have ever seen that coming? Um. <laughs> um. But I appreciate that the um, the title screen in Undertale is kind of jokey in some ways, or can be. Um, but uh, this is a much more serious sound. It's it's a little darker and mysterious, a little haunting. It's beautiful. It's layered. There's a there's a complexity to it that's different than the complexity in the Undertale soundtrack. Um, and I, I love, I love seeing like artistic growth and development from somebody who is, I mean, he's creating the work of his heart here and I love that. Um, yes, it feels familiar and profound. That's a very good way of describing it and it's beautiful. Um, 
and it's like a little bit ominous. Moments of it kind of made me think of something from, I think, Final Fantasy X. Which, I mean, it's a great soundtrack, so... Um, yeah, there's, well, there's already a lot of drama. Um, so for those of you who didn't see the Chapter 1 stream, I will be kind of filling you in on some of what I've been talking about with that, especially as it's relevant to this game, um, because I'm not assuming that you're loading your save from Chapter 1 it, as Lauren's 12-hour game. 724 minutes. You don't have to load that save. I will provide the information that you need. <laughs> um, but one of the things that I really, really enjoyed in chapter one is the, 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 the complexity of the character development. Um, Susie is the central figure of chapter one, um, and she has an arc and grows in a way that characters in Undertale largely don't. You solve their problems, but you don't necessarily see them growing and changing so much as people. And that's fine because not every story needs to do the same things. Um, but I really like the way that it happens. And, and Lancer, too. Um, and I, I really love the fact that with the two of them especially, um, because you get to know them better, Ralse, I think, is wearing kind of a mask. He doesn't want you to see who he is beneath the, the, the prophesied hero that he is trying to tell himself as the story, or tell the story with himself in it. Um, and Chris, we only get to know who and what Chris is once we go to the light world afterwards, and people talk about Chris and react to Chris, and we get the sense of what Chris does when we're not in Chris. And that's how we get to know Chris. Um, but we don't really know exactly where all that comes from. But with, with Susie and Lancer, you can see where their particular... <laughs> where their damage comes from um, and how they, they work on it. And, 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 you know, Susie being somebody who's never been believed in. People again and again and again with Susie say, we didn't see her do anything, but we know that she will. We know she does. You can just imagine, and I'm sure some of you, unfortunately, it's not just imagination, that people decide what you are and, 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 and kind of condemn you without even without even you doing the thing that they have condemned you condemned you for and then you kind of lean into like well if you're going to hate me for that I might as well do it um and uh and that's uh that's really interesting to see her grow from that to then finally having somebody who looks at her and just unabashedly unreservedly is just like you're so cool I want your approval I think you're awesome the way you are. I'm not trying to encourage you to be better. I like you just as you are. And Lancer's maybe not Mr. Rogers, um, but that's really powerful because that's what she needs and I think she's never really had before. And Lancer needs an older, like, authority figure. <laughs> Susie is a 30 figure. There's a there's a scary thought. Um, but somebody who's like in a more parental or I would say big sister, like older sibling role to, uh, to approve of him. Because he doesn't get that from his dad, um, or from his subjects, or from his lesser dad. <laughs> um, and so, like, to see the two of them, I don't think they become codependent, but they, they, they are able to help each other through that by giving each other love. Um, I think that that's really beautiful. And it's a, it's a much more nuanced and realistic, still simplified for a story, but it's a more nuanced and realistic situation. Um, and, 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 and characterization than what we had in Undertale, which is somebody said, somebody said, um, it's more, uh, it's more about discovering the characters rather than seeing the characters grow. And that is correct. I, I agree with that. Um, but it's also larger than life and less relatable. It's more of a, it's more of a mythical fairy tale in some ways. I mean, obviously it's like a silly, goofy Joe humors game. Um, but, uh, but also like it has this more a slightly different feel whereas in Deltarune you only get that when you're in the dark world and Toby Fox turns on his ability to write beautiful poetic speeches and I'm just like oh I read every single line that the king said out loud because it was so powerful I wanted to feel those words what they sounded like coming out in my voice um so you want to taste beautiful words um he's so talented um but, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I really love that. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. I want to see where they go with it. I want to see where they go with the, 
there's there's just there's a lot of like ugliness and dirtiness not like in a like really really profound and dark way um but uh but in a the real world everybody's a little bit selfish a little bit hurt a little bit unsettled a little bit wrong things aren't right and it's not just that they're different it feels like something's off like something's wrong and on one hand i like that the people are more like flawed and less larger than life um but also i feel like something's gone wrong um and i think it's supposed to hurt us like when we see that you know alfie's which i've been saying her name wrong this whole time apparently and undine don't even know each other and alfie's is in like a real is she like i think lives in an alley with her milk saucer i don't know um i think asgore is technically better off maybe <laughs> um but he doesn't really win no matter what but his kids are both alive um and so that's worth a lot um but i think the rest of the characters all seem like they're worse off i mean let's look at metaton i think for the the saddest the saddest dis disconnect between the two games um yeah dr mccano that's why that's that's why I would say I think that Asgore is actually better off as as sad and lonely and desperate as he is um, in Delta Rune. I do think he's better off because he doesn't have the guilt on his conscience of killing people, potentially children, um, and also um, his kids are alive, which are both two really big things. So I wouldn't say that Asgore in Delta Rune is happy, but I think he's still better off. Um, Yes, he's about to get evicted. He's like sleeping in his shop on a on an air mattress. Like, you really feel there's 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 like despair and sadness, and it's not the like closed in. We're trapped in the undergroundness of Undertale. It feels a lot more like a sad small town in like the middle of the country, America, which I think it's supposed to be. Um, I think that that's what the what the feel of it is supposed to be, even the way that the um, the religion, the church is. Um, and somebody talked about the, the angel, where the angel sounds like a bad guy um, or a problem in some of the things that we've heard. And then the angel's apparently the center of the church that they all go to. Um, so it's, it's interesting. Um, yeah. I don't know. I really like it. It's digging more into some things that I absolutely love, which is broken people, broken families, trauma, abuse, and overcoming your damage. Those are things that I am just an absolute sucker for. Um, and I hope that Toby Fox continues digging into those themes here because I'm really excited about that. I think is I don't, I feel like it is actually pretty sad. I do feel like it's sad. I feel like more of the characters are not just worse off than they are in Undertale, but actually sad situations. Not all of them, um, but so for me, it feels like things are a little wrong and people are a little sad and things are a little hollow in a way that's realistic um, and that it is just how people are. Um, but I would say it is how people are when they're a little bit more sad and things are a little bit more difficult for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive on in because I said we were gonna dive on in and then I talked for another 20 minutes. So. I don't know, Saf. I feel like, objectively, it's sad. It's, okay, so it's not sure that everything is awful. No, some things are awful, but it's mostly sad. Oh, the music ended abruptly. That's Toriel. I know that voice. <laughs> Um, so the last thing we saw was the knife. Yeah, this is not good. But yeah, he's gonna do. Oh my god, yeah. <sighs> Toby Fox with the bait and switch. So what's what's amazing about this, in my opinion? Oh, Luna, Luma. Thank you for following. Um, and welcome to everybody. I, I assume, I tend to assume with things like this that everybody here has seen me stream at least once so they know what they're getting into. If, if you do not like to see very slow streams where people talk a lot, this may not be the stream for you. 
But if you do like feelings and talking and music and things, this may be the stream for you. <laughs> oh, R Rimaris, welcome. Thank you. And for anyone who's coming over here for the first time, especially if you were like a YouTube viewer who you've decided to uh, take the plunge and join us on Twitch, even just for this one special stream. Welcome. I'm happy to have you. Most of our folks here came over from YouTube at some point or other. So pull up a chair, join us, get ready for talking <laughs> and singing and maybe crying. Yeah. So like what's fun for me comparing myself with everyone who thought that Chris was going to eat the entire pie. I am Miss Melodrama and Tragedy. <laughs> And so I remember my first time through being like, oh, wait, there's a knife. Oh, that's not good. I'm going to assume the worst. <sighs> Toby Fox, as discussed, actually uses humor in his stories, which is a thing that I am working to improve myself. So because it turns out you need that in the world. Um, the whole pie is impressive. I can't say I've eaten an entire pie in one night, but I have eaten a rather regrettable amount of dessert in a short period of time. So, <laughs> um, but I like that my brain immediately jumps to the worst possible thing. And Toby Fox sets it up that entire final scene, which I finally got to see yesterday. Um, if you watch the first playthrough of chapter one, my cat Alice stepped on the keyboard. So I didn't see that entire extra sec section last night as we're playing. Sophie starts yelling at the door, but she didn't actually disrupt it. So we're good. Um, <laughs> okay. Look, Saf, I feel like that was a very Lauren thing to do. Okay. That's what I do. Lux, a pie, a whole pie is generally regrettable. But, uh, but you know, if you really want to go for it, you know, I, 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 I salute you. Go for it. Be the 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 pie in one sitting eater of your dreams. Um. But uh. But yeah, yeah. Please don't comment on chapter two since I'm on the very first screen. <laughs> um. Yeah, but but so he, I love that Toby Fox sets it up to feel really ominous. It's really creepy, and you're trapped in that little bird cage, as this kid draws a knife and has a glinty red eye and like creeps along like shuffling like like a zombie um <clears throat> he wants you to think something horrible is gonna happen but instead it's just the kid eats pie so there's your expectations being subverted lauren way to put your stereotypes on chris and read into chris's behavior just because they kind of look like Kara, which i now know is how we say that character's name um <laughs> Um, yeah, but it turns out it's pie. It turns out it's pie. Yeah, well, it would make sense for Chris to be trying to scare us because remember, like, Chris was like the human under the bed. Chris was like, look at the blood on my arms and it's ketchup. Like, Chris likes to spook people. And I don't know exactly where that comes from. So I don't know if it's playful or bitter. Um, and I want... I desperately want to know more. I want to see Chris's behavior for myself so that I can overanalyze them because that's what I do. Um, but they're definitely, they're definitely a prank, like a prank loving little butt, <laughs> which is great. They can go right there with, with Wind Waker Link. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate that because this is actually in character. Like the, did you eat all the pie is actually in character with what we know of the real actual Chris that we're not controlling. Stabbing people or self with knives is not actually in character for the Chris that we have seen. Like the actions that we see Chris take, even when we're supposedly controlling them are things like them defending, um, Defending Susie. So they step forward to defend Susie um, in the battle with the, with, the, with the king. And there's a few other things like that. Um, and it's clear like that they consider Susie a friend, or at least they seem like they consider Susie a friend. Um, and, uh, and so, like, I have no evidence whatsoever that Chris would draw a knife and hurt anyone or themselves. I have no... 
I have no indication that that's going to happen based on what Chris has done. But I have this expectation of what Chris is going to do based on who Chris resembles. Things. Things. Oh, really, Palf? I don't think I noticed that before the Susie Lancer fight when Susie asks if you want to fight the yellow highlight minus the heart goes to let's not. I don't think I saw that. Yes, there's definitely been heart ripping in the past. Like that was that was definitely an ex that was that was a familiar action. That was not I'm going to do this thing for the first time. That was it's time to do this now. Um, but yeah, I. Uh, yes, and Chris, Chris canonically goes by they them. So we will do our best for anyone who is accustomed to using different pronouns for them. That's all right. Um, just do your best. This the stain was there during chapter one. Yes, no, it was. I saw that. All right. I love the sound effect of that. So does does Chris just keep a knife hidden in their room to go get pie? Is this their secret pie knife? Oh my god. I, I do appreciate the the her reaction. She's like mad, but she also is like frustrated and also she's amused. It's a secret pie knife. <laughs> are you going to write, are you going to write, um, are you going to write a song? Secret pie knife in the bedroom. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yes, girl, I was rolling with this. Amazing. Okay. Okay, you know what would really troll us is if actually the kid's not okay after this, but. Well, the heart is not in the cage. You got out of bed by yourself, kid, but now it is my turn. Your bed. Closed drawer. The cage. When the door is closed, there's no escape. Yeah, I found that. It's a stain. Which I assumed was like the heart, like the blood throwing the heart there, but I don't know. The sunrise is the same as always. Is that going to be significant? Maybe so. Oh my god. This wasn't there before. Amazing. Amazing. So, so the real, the real metagame problem that I have here is that I'm like, I want to role play out what would be, what seems like Chris would do. But then... Is it still taking agency from Chris and forcing them to do what I'm guessing they would do? And therefore, by participating in the game, I'm still removing Chris's agency. Hi, Sunlight Azrael. Welcome back. <laughs> if you take it, you have to beat Azrael in a fist fight in Chapter 5. You know, I bet that Azrael in this game could probably take me in a fist fight. I mean, he could probably take me in a fist fight. I don't... No. I'm okay at not being hit so much. I'm just really bad at hitting. <laughs> I feel like... I just... I love that the answer... That this side here is always do not. I think we should take it. Maybe. I feel like Chris would take it. Yes, I saved over Chris's game in the in the in chapter one. No, and that is something I'm very interested in. Let's see. Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah, I don't keep up with all the AUs. One of my friends does have an AU fanfic that I've written a couple of little snippets um uh dedicated to. Uh <laughs> but uh that's that's the extent of my uh, stumbling into Undertale fanfic, but uh, but I, I do know that there's a lot of it out there. Okay, let's go ahead. I mean, the thing is, it's been there this whole time. It is PK Fweez. I appreciate your name. That's very cute. This is a no spoilers first playthrough, so I'm currently being stuck on the first moral dilemma of the game. I'm going to overthink myself to death here. 
going to overthink myself to death. Oh, man, we might get to see what Azriel looks like as a young adult. Oh, that's exciting. We're going to take Azriel's money. Okay, we're going to take Azriel's money. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I never did this in the original, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Hold on. Where even is it? Come on. Where'd it go? Sorry, folks. Sorry, folks. I lost Deltarun. Where'd it go? Here it is. <laughs> I never did this in Undertale. I'm gonna do it now. No, no, so the reluctantly wasn't in, wasn't in quotes, borrowed was. The reluctantly was not ironic. Yes, Dr. Meccano, I'm actually really glad that I did see that because I, uh, I, uh, that, that is going to affect how I make choices for the rest of the game. Yeah, well, so again, taking the evidence that we have, sorry, we're just going to kind of go through this scene quickly. Um, Taking the, uh, taking the evidence that we have about Chris, we know that they and Azriel were really, really close. Um, so it makes sense that they wouldn't take Azriel's money. And, and I can speak from experience that having your parents get divorced and your sibling go off to college is really disorienting and really upsetting, especially like... I can only imagine what it's like if you already kind of feel like a loner and an outsider, you know? No, we're not going to. Take it. Do not. Yeah. So there's a... Cat Petters RPG. Oh my god! Asriel! Asriel! Did you take their game and never return it? Oh my god. That would be great, your computer. That would be very Link's Awakening of it. Uh, hold on. Can I do that? Hold on, dashboard. Oh, it still thinks that we're playing Suicoden 2, so that's not correct. I might be able to change that. Hold on. Let me see if I can change that without having to dig up stuff. Um... Ba -da 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 -da, ba -da -da -da. ba da 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 ba da 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 all right, here we go. Delta in chapter two, no spoilers. No, don't try to correct my spelling of Delta Rune phone. All right. Oh, there's like cool things here. You can add tags. You can add a stream marker. So I could be like, I'm about to go live and or I'm about to like start actually talking about the game instead of rambling and I'll hit the stream marker. Amazing. Maybe I'll do that in the future. All right. So that should now tell people. No spoilers. All right. Oh, hold on. Oh my God. So I can get into his stuff now and I couldn't. Oh, I do appreciate that he's like, yes, this is in fact what Azrael's game stuff is. That is correct. Because we all said, we all said that the hyper god of death was totally Azrael's OC do not steal. 
We all knew that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I'm really delighted by that. Thank you, Toby Fox. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I don't know if Undertale never saw the light of day, but Asriel's game never saw the light of day. Did I, did I get any wrong? Lauren, Ted. Okay, then I just need to find Ted. And when our powers combine, Deltarune. <laughs> you did rhinoceritis. I, uh, I, I, I never underestimate my ability to take a very long time. Look, I look like I've got wings coming out of my head. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh. No time to read books, generally. How to draw dragons. Can I take it? Take it? Take it? <sighs> I'm modestly. What is that a reference to? It being purple. See, like, it's interesting because, like, the Azrael we've had in our heads from the first, from, from Undertale has kind of been, like, an idealized figure. But here he is with, like, he's, like, you know, borrowing stuff and never returning it, getting sexy dragon lady books, things like that. Like, yes, Chris's checks for their own side of the room were exactly the same. So... It's what they call you. Okay, Toby Fox, you're going to keep messing with us more and more and more and more, huh? This is all about how they perceive you. They call you you. This is not your, your feeling of you-ness at all. That's not significant. Certainly not. That would never be significant. Toby Fox putting significance in a video game? Never. I am going to defeat the first boss in the game. Just you watch. I did it. I've learned the technique. I've learned the technique now that I know that this is going to happen. Sweet staircase skills. Aren't you impressed with me? I'm impressed with me. That's right, Nyx. <laughs> because I've apparently had trouble with that in both of my Deltarune playthroughs. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. <laughs> if, you, if you design a game, folks, don't do that. Please don't do that. Please don't do that to me. <laughs> <sighs> All right. It is not yet time. Oh, my hair was trying to steer and be like face palming while I did it, but then I realized we wouldn't be able to see the text. Okay. Excellent. We did that. Now it's time to wash my hands. No! What? I disapprove, and in protest, I'm gonna flush the toilet. <laughs> A few times. He really makes it... Okay, why is it, Toby Fox? Why is it that you set me up to automatically go up and down the stairs in an endless loop cycle, but I can't just endlessly flush the toilet in a flush cycle? Huh? 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 <laughs> objections? I have objections. <laughs> I will voice them. <laughs> I mean, you should always wash the handle when you clean your bathroom. <laughs> Just generally is recommended. Oh man, does she not have anything to say this time around? Come on. All right, well, I guess that's that. Don't do that in real life, folks. This is digital fake water, but real water in the real world, 
It's different. Don't waste the water in the real world. <laughs> Night wind. <laughs> Don't tempt me. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so this is unchanged. I know this because I just saw it yesterday. This is why I played through it yesterday. Oh. My roommate just got home and I don't want to annoy her with my loud noises and stuff. All right. I guess that's it for the bathroom. I did try to wash my hands. I feel like I should get credit for that. Eh, eh, why, why is the refrigerator, refrigerator? Is that an angle that I slide down? Okay, this is the same. This is the same. This is the same. This is the same. Yes, that is because she threw away the extra flowers from dad. I'm sorry, Asgore. It's Cheriel. Where's mom? Oh, mom's not even here. Oh. Oh, wait. Did, did he come home? Is Asriel home? Did he come home today? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Do we get to see Asriel? Do we get to see him? I think this is what mom was reading last night. Oh, my God. Do we get to see Asriel? Oh my god. The TV was plugged in. I mean, maybe she wanted to watch a baking show. I know that, um, I know that, uh, I know that Asriel's coming home soon because Asgore was talking about that. Oh man, please, please stay safe with, with, with earthquakes. There's been a lot of earthquakes lately. That's scary. So, I mean, I'm sure you know what to do, but please take care of yourself, friend. The, the, the earth is trying to give you a celebration for your birthday, but what it got overly excited. Is it next week? We'll find out. Well, like, aren't you supposed to, un like, according to some things, to unplug your appliances so that they don't just kind of low-key drain electricity or something like that? Or, I don't know. All right, we go. Earthquakes are nature's bouncy castle. Amazing. Hello. I am here. I am late. Same music. Oh my god, it's her it's her new portrait. Hi Susie. We're gonna go sneak off into the into the closet, aren't we? Isn't that cute? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She showed up on time to class because she wanted to hang out with her friend. I don't know if it's responsibility. I think it's looking forward to having a friend at school. Like, that's wonderful. And she looks so much better off for it. Like, she looks happy. <laughs> oh, she's... That's true, friend. Oh, for anyone who didn't, um, for anyone who didn't watch yesterday's stream, I named the vessel friends. Um, and actually, my friend Kay drew um, drew a picture of of friend uh, that is in the stream chat channel, I think, of uh, of our Discord. If you want to see, it, you have to scroll up a bunch past me, being like, "Oh my God, it's so late, and I'm still awake." <laughs> but it's really cool because Kay's an incredible artist. But yeah. <laughs> Explore with the desk. Amazing. I like that. <sighs> oh, Susie. Oh my god, Susie. Oh my god, Susie. <sighs> See, this is why sometimes you have to state how a line is delivered in text. <laughs> <sighs> Oh my god, Susie. She's like, um, um, she's like, uh, anyway, 
Anyway. Class is capitalized. The reading from page 142. Mark that down in our notepad. Excellent, Volnik. Yes, so we got we got botted, bot attacked last night. Um, if that starts happening again, the mods and I will let you all know. We will have to pause the game as we try to ban all of them. If you get followed by one of them, do not go to their profile. Go to your own profile, your own channel on Twitch, um, and ban them with slash ban and then put the name. You'll know if they followed you because you'll probably get an email from Twitch about it. So just please protect yourself because they do something if you go to their profiles. I don't know what it is, but there's some sort of security breach. So don't do that. Um, please stay safe. Hopefully that won't happen this time. But I have the LGBT Q tag. Um, which apparently makes them more likely to be attracted to your channel and come and try to get you. But I refuse to not use that tag and let my community know that this is a place where we can be safe, so we're just gonna have to fight some bots from time to time. You'd think, you'd think, Cass. That's true, there are no chairs. Any volunteers to read out loud? Oh my god, Noelle. Noel, I'm wearing my rainbow scarf in honor of you. Oh my god, Birdly. So I commented yesterday that he has, well, actually, the face. So. Nerdly. Yeah. This music is so catchy. Are we gonna get, like, lore? Is this gonna be lore drop? No. It's Dickens. Oh, no, it's not Dickens. No, it's not Dickens. Oh, I take- Oh, 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 if I sleep, am I going to- Okay, I'm either gonna sleep through class, or I'm gonna, like, go into dreamland be great to do dreamland stuff. Let's see what happens. Nope. Okay. Well, there's one of two options. It kind of makes you think that it might be dreamland because we've already been to basically, um, so I compared the like whole like playing cards and everything in the unused classroom to, uh, I wonder who used to teach in that classroom. That was Gerson, wasn't it? No, Alfie's took over after Gerson. I think that's significant. Because that classroom hasn't been used for a while. And they were complaining about having been abandoned for some period of time. And I was trying to figure out who the knight was and also who the lightener that had uh, um, so betrayed the king could be. Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to investigate that. And by that, I mean, I'm going to be keeping an ear out for it and an eye out for it and trying to, I'm going to take every piece I can and try to smash it into that puzzle to see if it fits. Oh man. Group projects. We don't even know what the group projects are, right? Um, I like her awkward face. She's so awkward. Oh, she wants to be the cool teacher so she doesn't get the kids in trouble. I've known teachers like that. They're not sleeping at night because they're stealing the pie. And so they're tired during the day. Okay, this is the same. Hello. <laughs> Actually, my sleep quality increased feels like the good option. That's good, I think. Oh, yeah, all the evidence that we have is that Chris and Asriel are really close. 
But I like the I like the little details that emphasize that Azrael isn't going to be like saintly. Like I think some of us kind of have this impression of him from Undertale as far as like he's like the perfect good little little loving kind boy who then of course obviously through circumstances winds up being all bad. Um but then he's not himself. He just needs a Snickers. <laughs> Sorry. Um and I love him very much. And I like him as the precious little goat boy. Um, but I think that for a world like this, it makes more sense for him to be flawed. Um, which is interesting with Ralsei, because Ralsei, we don't see his flaws, really. Because he doesn't he doesn't ever show us, like, his real self. He's at the very, very, very end when we physically see his real self. But we don't see his... We don't see his, like, real self inside. You know, yeah, grown up big boy Azrael can borrow things and not return them. <laughs> I'm curious about that because it does seem to be a trend. Two things can be a trend anyway. Can't do that? Why not? Oh, the internet is down. Oh my god. The internet is down for the entire town, huh? That's weird. Social distancing. Oh no. Yeah. See, like they're they're having Toriel be very, very like because they talked they talked in chapter one about like Azrael's first kiss and Toriel flipping out. And so it's clear and like the, the school dance is like you can't get too close to people. Um so it so it clear it's 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 clear that um there's a, a certain degree of prudishness about that. Um, and also none of the, none of the queer couples that we know from Undertale are together in this, in this world. So I wonder if we're going to kind of go somewhere with that. So we'll find out. Angel's heaven. Yes. The angel's heaven. That is the saying. Seems to not be time for class. I like that that's, that's, the, hello, cool girl chilling in front of the locker like a cool girl. <sighs> she's, she's, she is very cool. Like you have to admit Susie's coolness factor is really high. <laughs> Sleeping like a corpse all class. No, guard one and guard two were not. They were calling each other bros, which is what they started off doing in Undertale. And then you get them to talk about their feelings and then they become boyfriends. But they're not boyfriends yet here. They're just BFFs, not BFs. And that's actually very sad. <laughs> Oh, th did they call each other bros after their boyfriends? Okay. I thought that they weren't and I was really sad. Because there's the there's the there's the qu queer ladies um in uh in the diner. But I don't know that we knew them in the original Pro TP. Oh my god. <laughs> Amazing. <sighs> Going Betty by. Oh, come on, Susie. Oh my god, bromosexual. These are good. Oh no, Dr. McKenna, they're gonna mess up our ships. Oh no! What will we do? They are wearing matchy, matching shirts. That's true, soggy nachos. But that's also like kind of a bros that don't get it sort of thing to do. Okay, well, just continue, continue having fun broing everything. <laughs> yes, chapter one does, does imply that she has a crush on Asgore and wants him to have a crush on her. Um, so. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's so excited. She's so excited. Oh. Oh, see... I think it says something really cool about Susie and where she is right now because the first thing that she says is, is the people. She's like, did that really happen? The people, the people are friends. Um, not like I got to be cool. Not like that cool, interesting world. The most important thing is are, are our people still there? It's really cute. I like her. Right. Oh my god, that's cute. She just drags her off. Amazing. 
drags them off. I'm sorry. I was thinking her pronouns. Uh, it's the same music. It's the same music. Oh yeah, we're gonna get more detailed and complex sprites and things because Toby's no longer doing everything himself. So he can make other people do extra work, which is great. More, more portraits, more sprites. What are you gonna do, Susie? I'm really worried about this. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. I think this is gonna be a little dark night of the soul. <laughs> I'm not gonna play this whole game, this whole one today, <laughs> Jenna Scientist. Don't worry. I'm gonna take breaks. It will still be. <sighs> oh my god, Noel, please come with us! Please come with us or ask Susie out. Either one of those is an acceptable option. Oh, that's wonderful, Blue Glass. I love that. Oh my god, intrusive. Fantastic. Alright, again, I'm wearing my rainbow scarf. It's the rainbow in honor of Noelle being gay and that being one of the, like, five things I remembered from chapter one. All right. Oh my god, look at Susie. <laughs> look at Susie's pose. Look at Susie's pose. Amazing. Oh, this is new. Look at her cute little deer feet. She has cute little deer feet. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, I'm trying to, I'm looking at, okay, so Susie's either like, like, oh shoot, somebody caught me in the act of the sneak, sneaky, sneak, sneak thing I'm trying to do, or Susie is thinking, cute girl, cute girl, cute girl. Or maybe a little bit of both. <laughs> Have a gaiety, thank you, Yuma. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> She's awkward. It's adorable. I mean, it's super clear that Noelle has a crush on Susie. So I don't think that I'm uh, projecting onto that. That's something that they have really, really basically straight up said. So. And at this point, I don't know what Susie's feelings are. I don't have enough information on that yet. So I'm wondering which of those two things her reaction is. Her sprite looks really nice. Like you can see her face clear. Oh my God, Nightwind. Amazing. Uh. Also, hi, Lightning. Oh, look, she's trying to ask Susie to come join. Oh my god, she's having such a hard time, but she's doing it. She's trying. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so awkward and wonderful. Um, I just, I don't know, I don't know what that expression means, and I don't know that Susie does either. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, Chris, no, don't, Chris, oh, is Chris, is, is Chris a meddler? Do I have the option to meddle? Susie, no, Susie, no. It, but see, but it's, but it, so it's, 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 it's panic. But the question is, which of those panics is it, or is it all of those panics? <laughs> Amazing cipher. <laughs> Sensing a little, uh, a little May Borowski here. <laughs> Hanging out alone in the closet is the worst possible thing we could say to Noelle right now. So we're gonna do this instead. Just committing crimes, you know, just like you do, just crimes. Just gonna do some crimes and go to jail. Mm. 
<laughs> Was that even necessary, Susie? Oh my god, Susie, what are you- she's just going. She's just going. She just keeps going. So are you gonna hear that sound something slightly wrong with my controller and I'm not exactly sure why, but periodically, and this may be a problem if it happens in combat, but something goes wrong, you'll hear that sound and I just have to tab back to the game and we're good. Yeah, Susie's not good at this. Oh, I'm sorry, Noel. Her little freckles had turned to blushies before. Oh, yes, 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 yes. So one of my favorite moments that somebody pointed out to me because I allowed a little bit of backseating yesterday is that, um, so you know how Noelle's dad is like, I would like to beat up Birdly for you, but I can't because I'm stuck in a hospital bed. So you should bring him to the window so I can throw things at him. You can then go and t and and Chris will tell because you only get you only get his reaction. You don't actually hear what Chris says, but you can tell that Chris is like, you should go go by the window of the hospital so you can get stuff thrown at you. It's amazing. It's amazing. I love that. So Chris is Chris. I think Chris might ship them <laughs> and also wants Birdly to get his comeuppance. It's great. It's great. Oh my god, look, there's the blushies again. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Susie's expression is perfect. It's so expressive. Oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. That blush. probably is an invitation to the dance. This is amazing. This is the best thing. Chris is absolutely a meddler. We're making this happen. I'm so excited about this. By the way, for anyone who hasn't seen my streams in a while and you're wondering, you may be wondering what this like little game out is that folks have. So I mentioned that I've come out. Um, <clears throat> I'd kind of low-key sort of been out like as like I'm bi-ish maybe I don't know um but I came out officially as, as gay because once I once I acknowledged that um it became much harder to hide <laughs> it's like oh no I'm 100% that <laughs> and uh and now I, I look at girls and I'm like girls um so the reason why I had to come out like that on stream is because I was playing Final Fantasy 7 Remake and Aerith comes out in the red dress and Cloud and I we're making the exact same stupid face. <laughs> Somebody clipped it somewhere and I like, I have it saved as a screenshot. So I drew over it. So whenever something really gay is happening, <laughs> you can have that and you can just spam that. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was a pretty, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, this is completely unrelated to anything. I'm Lauren. This is what I do. This is why, this is why we take forever. I have to show you. I have to show you. I got, I, I, I moved a month or a month and a half ago, almost two months ago, and I'm still decorating my room. But, uh, but I, I'm going to put some posters up on my wall and I'm really excited. So I have one that's Locke and Sully's kissing because I was just like my background on my computer because I'm writing this song and this fanfic and I'm really obsessed with them. And, it's, and the girl who drew this, the picture that, that I'm not going to show you, she drew it because she never shipped them. And then she watched my stream of Final Fantasy VI and was like, now I ship them. And I was like, yes, this is literally someone else channeling my personal obsession with my favorite OTP. Oh my God. Um, but that's not what I'm going to show you. What I'm going to show you is, uh, so here's one of the posters that I got. See, it's, it's, it's Sully's looking at the blackjack because I like Final Fantasy VI a lot. You're gonna hear more about that, I'm sorry. But, but, look, 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 look. These are my Final Fantasy girlfriends. Aren't they pretty? 
it was so hard to find a red dress era that I liked, but then I found this and I was like, oh, this is perfect. They look like fine art. I love them. They're beautiful. Anyway, I'm going to put them back now so that I don't do anything to them. I was going to get frames, but I'm streaming instead, so I will get frames later. <clears throat> Anyway, yeah, um, and there's my other Final Fantasy VI poster, that one's from Bang Gamer. <laughs> and my sister cross-stitched Lock and Sully's portraits for me. Yes, I like Final, oh, Final Fantasy VI, if you don't know that. Anyway, hello, friends. I'm going to go back to this game now that we're supposed to be playing. <sighs> All right, anyway, anyway. <laughs> Oh my god, that's so cute. This is so cute, and I'm so happy about this. Look at how precious she is. She doesn't know what is going on, and she has big panic eyes and great big blushies. I really, really think that's adorable. A lunchbox? Oh my god, did she pack you a lunch because she likes you? Oh my god, Noel. It's probably gonna be full of Christmas cookies. Oh my god, look at her, what? Oh no, this is my fault. This is my fault, this is my fault. This is my fault. I'm pretty sure this is my fault. I think I did this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Susie. <sighs> Susie, no! Susie, no! Susie, no. Susie! No, she got it for you! No! Susie, no! Oh my god. Oh my god, her just blinking and then being confused and she doesn't understand. Susie, why would Noel ask you to do homework with her? <sighs> this is, see, she's already assuming that people are going to assume the worst of her. This is like, no. Whatever you're thinking, Susie, you probably know. <gasps> oh. Anyway, back to Dark World, it's much easier to deal with that sort of thing than girls. <sighs> but see, Vanessa, I don't feel like it's tropey necessarily here. Susie has an incredible lack of self-worth. Um, like, when there's the, uh, the spears and Ralsei's like, don't climb the fence, you might impale yourself, and Susie's like, okay, cool, that's fine. Um, I don't think that Susie believes that anybody would actually be interested in her. Her immediate assumption is like, like, I have nothing to offer. Why would she invite me? Um, so, so I think that this is less tropey and more Susie specific. And I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, also, I'm really bad at knowing if people are interested in me. <laughs> sometimes so it's a real world thing that happens a lot especially like when it comes to like girls especially because I get the feeling and I don't know for sure but it seems like there may be some degree of homophobia in this particular version of the world or or, or at least a, like a lack of representation perhaps Susie like me would not realize that's an option so when your best friend from childhood 
says to you completely out of the blue as older teenagers, you know, parents think I'm a lesbian. Out of the blue. When you're seeing each other for the first time in a while, because she's been off at, at, at school. And your response is, really? But why? You've had boyfriends. And she looks like that's not the answer she wanted. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and later you're like, oh, so the reason why every time we played games and I would be the run like, one like running the game experience, there would always be a love interest that would always kiss her character. Anyway, yeah, no, serious think I do think it's self-esteem issues, but also let me make fun of myself for a moment. <laughs> Oops. I could go on. It's, it's funny and embarrassing and kind of sad, but you know, that's why representation is important because it literally never occurred to me that that could be an option. We gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. I would read it as a self-esteem thing because because she is she automatically assumes that everybody thinks the worst of her, so it just like is incomprehensible to her that somebody would be interested in her. Yeah, and I'm sure that there is like the genuine fear of being found out, but Yeah, Cyber. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, the thing is, I feel like Noelle is not even subtle about it. But Susie's rejecting that as a possibility and going to the next thing that she's most scared of. So. <laughs> oh my god, yes. This scene does take place right outside a closet. That's correct. No, we need to bring Noelle... Noelle has to come into the dark world with us. I have decided. Maybe, since it turns out that Ralsei is our is our healer, maybe she can be the the DPS caster. I know those words now. I play an MMO. <laughs> I've learned a few things. Um, that's true. Noelle did stop Susie from going back into the closet. I don't know, but I want Noelle to go into the dark world with us. I have decided. I don't know if that'll actually happen, but I want that to happen. If I were writing this story, that's what would happen at some point. This is not going to work. It's not going to be there. We're going to be crushed. Susie's going to be upset. But I like that we both take off running into it at the same time. Oh, wait, we're falling. Wait, we're falling. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. We're falling. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. No, it's actually happening. Are you serious? Wait, 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 we did it. Wait, we did it. Wait, we did it. I did not. I thought he was going to fake us out. Oh. I didn't actually think. Also, that looked really cool. <laughs> that looked really cool. Double fake out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. I like that. Like, like, I mean, obviously, she's trying to follow you. But the first thing is she looks towards you. I can't talk to her. Okay. No music. I do like the, the coloring, at least, on Chris's uh, Dark World design is reminiscent of Metaton. All right. So everything from here is unknown. Oh! Oh, it's Ralsei's place! Oh, I know uh -huh. this place. But it's not playing any music. <gasps> Oh, good, he's here. Okay, I didn't know he would be. Hi, cute boy. I wore my scarf today in honor of him because I didn't actually know he'd be back. But he is, so we're good. Okay, look, Avalon, I am what I am. <laughs> but I had to talk about Lori theory thing thingums before, so it was relevant at least, partly. Oh, look at how cute and happy he is. 
he looks so much better off now that he's like actually being himself instead of trying to be the the mysterious caster hero. Uh, Look at his cute little face. Oh, it's been ever so long. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. With the combination of, of his face and the way he's saying this, I'm picturing this in Cedric's voice from King's Quest V. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll say you deserve better. You deserve better than this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god okay he's really cute exactly i'm so glad that i'm so glad that some of you get that reference we have we have good taste we have good taste in this chat thank you all <laughs> no i actually i don't usually do voices i did a little alfie's voice i think yesterday um but, uh, but i will occasionally do a centric voice <laughs> <laughs> but I, I will spare you. Cedric and Priestess, or the other some of the other characters from Star Ocean 2's original voice cast. <sighs> All right, Justin. Well, I will. Uh, I will be slow because that's what I do. No, it's fair. It's fair, and I have friends who do voices for things. But you, you do voices. So you can do voices. I know you do voices. Uh, by the way, do I say your name here? Do I say Volga Dwer? Is that how I say it? <laughs> I realized I don't think I ever asked you for pronunciation on your name, friend. Okay. Oh, no, not Cedric from Harry Potter. Cedric from King's Quest V. You know, they have the cues with their voices, which is where I was giving um, Alfie's her voice based on it. I do like the little text things. Um... <laughs> a day oh no now we're gonna find out about the passage of time being different between our worlds i have read a book maybe time just doesn't pass here that's okay neither have any of us literally none of the four of us has ever had a friend before Chris has had an older brother that they're close to, but I think that that's the only thing. I don't think anyone else has ever had a friend in the history of the world. He's so cute. Oh, he's such a cute, precious boy. <laughs> See, I appreciate she's found a way to maintain her sass in a way that is not mean-spirited, and I like that. Lancer? Lancer also never had a friend. That makes four. <laughs> the god of hyperfloofs. He is floofy. I Man, trying to explain to my mom floofy, and then she'd be like, is this cat floofy? Is this cat a floof? Is that cat a floof? Is that dog a floof? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> No, we already have somebody whose nostrils are not eyeballs, but they're not, they're also nostrils or I don't know. We already had that. I'm not going to think about Susie's nose as being her eyes. Um, well, no, like, like, like I was distinguishing because my mom had a cat that was like long haired and had floofy pantaloons and this very floofy tail and he was a floof, but her very, very short haired little kitties were not floofs. So try to, uh try to clarify that oh my god wait a sec where yes see 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 lancer is important to susie that's her friend she like freaked out she freaked out look at oh uh, uh, uh. Oh, good. Oh, I'm glad. I love her freaking out about where are my people? Where are my people? She's so excited to have a friend because it turns out a lot of times even loners just want friends. So. Uh. Oh, and she can't take it at face value because she's had enough reasons to learn not to take things at face value. Uh. Okay. Um, 
How do you know this? How do you know this, Raul say? How do you know this? It's my favorite song. That's really interesting. I have a half-formed idea in my head trying to build on the clear physical similarities, I think, between Ralse and Asriel, as we've seen Asriel. I think Asriel in this game is going to be more grown up because he's in college, as opposed to being like 12. Um, but this, like, Ralse looks like slightly older than the Asriel that we knew, but definitely looks like him. And so I wonder whether, like, he put some part of himself in here. I don't know. Oh, Susie is doing that cool girl leaning. Man, she's so cool. Her outfit is really cool. I'm looking forward to seeing Susie cosplay. Or just uh, Delta Rune cosplay in general. I don't... I don't distrust Ralse as being trouble. I just, uh... I think he's withholding information. Does he have enough to on spade? Or is that a heart? I think it must be. Maybe that's a heart. Uh, <laughs> oh. Where you returned to the light world last time. How do you know that? How How do you know that, Ralse? How do you know that? <laughs> he's so adorable. Look at those cheeks. Look at those cheeks. Yes, it's very specific. Perhaps something lets him watch what we're doing, but... Oh, uh, no? Oh my god, everybody is flirting with everybody. Alright, teenagers. I mean, obviously we're gonna have some, probably some ace or aero folks, but there's gonna be a lot of other flirtation and wanting people to think you're cute. I did have to argue with my uh, graduate thesis mentor because my thesis was a was a novel, um, which was a young adult novel, and I need to rewrite it because um, I wrote the whole thing, but I need to rework it. Um, but he read a, a full draft of it and was like complaining about the fact that none of the teenagers were hormonal, and he didn't think that was believable because all teenagers are hormonal, and I was like, not like that. And that's when I realized that my main character was Ace Arrow. And the rest of them, once I was like, oh right, people get hormonal when they're teenagers a lot of the time. Most people do that. I, 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 I tweaked, or rather opened up them up to that and, 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 and shenanigans ensued. But it was kind of nice to be like, no, you're wrong. You're objectively wrong. <laughs> no, but, but I'm using hormonal as a stand-in word for, um for horny, shall we say, um, and prone to having crushes on people in that uncontrollable physical way. I did, I did, I said it. <laughs> We're trying to keep this stream family friendly, but Susie keeps using class two swear words. His horns look shiny. They're totally facing the wrong way, though. <laughs> uh, so, Fairy, I identify as being on the uh, ace spectrum. So, I am. Uh, I am. I'm speaking from a from a place of of some understanding, <laughs> which is why it's very important for me whenever people start talking about teenagers to point out that. The hormonal teenager experience is when it comes to physical attraction to people and not being able to control yourself in that way is not a universal experience. It is a common experience, and that is an important distinction to make. Um. 
All right, fairy. I just wanted to make sure that that was that that was clear. I'm not Ace Arrow, um, but I have friends who are and have. Well, <laughs> let's just say I was the first mod on the Avon forums before I felt ostracized from that community in the very early days for not being <laughs> Ace Arrow <laughs> and not being Ace enough. Um, so it's a it's a community that I have a history with, um, but it's a good history now. I was actually on a panel last year talking about one of the old online ace communities um, and what that experience was like. So it was uh, it was really nice, actually. I cried <laughs> because it was amazing to have like this community that had at a very vulnerable age for me at a very vulnerable time basically said you don't belong. And then to kind of have this encounter where I came back and they were like, we are so sorry that anyone did that to you. Of course you belong. You're one of us. Um, so, yeah, that's neat. So representation is important. So you don't wind up not really, so this by the way, so talks, you heard me like making fun of myself for not realizing that I had a crush on my best friend <laughs> because a lot of the um, telltale signs that are harder to overlook, especially as told to you by popular culture. Uh, we're not there. <laughs> so it was a little easier to not see. Um. <laughs> so, uh, it's an interesting experience and I just hope that, I hope that kids, um, growing up today with the level of representation and awareness that exists don't have that. I'm sure they'll have their own other problems that I can't imagine, but that one they don't have. Yes, apparently not being ace enough is a, is a big concern that a lot of people have. I just had a bit of a complex about it because I was literally told by the center of the community at the time that I wasn't ace enough. So, there you go. Well, you know, high five to all of us here having parallel experiences that we had. It's kind of nice, isn't it? To be like, this is a very specific experience that I'm sure a lot of you have had your own interesting and specific experiences that you could relate to each other over. But there's like, what, five of us? This is a very specific thing for me to be talking about. And for like five of us to be like, yeah. I, uh, I get that. I had that same experience. Like, yeah. Just goes to show that it's not that any one of us is broken or weird. We're just one kind of person. Then there's other people like us in that regard. And so regardless of how alone you might feel about whatever your specific experiences are, there's a chance that at some point in the future you too might find five people you don't know in a chat on Twitch who actually can relate to the things that most people that you meet can't relate to with you. So, there you go. Oh man, non-binary starry, that sounds rough. I'm a, I'm still kind of working some stuff out myself, but uh... The great thing about identity is that it's a journey and apparently you can just kind of take it where it takes you. And what matters is that you feel good about yourself and like you belong. So, Sienna, thank you for following. I'm always a little surprised when people choose to follow me when I talk about random things like this that have nothing to do with a video game, but this is, this is what I do. <laughs> so anyway, Azrael wants to be thought of as cute. That's totally fine, Dark Buddhist. That is a completely legitimate decision to make. Um, as long as you respect that for other people, having those labels can be empowering and give them a sense of identity and belonging. So it's it's good. Uh, yes, yeah, same, Veronica. That's why I don't use that word, actually. <laughs> Just like I have had a history of like, never calling anyone attractive because I'm like, that's not the right word. Um, Hi, Innocence. How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you, Mega Man. I appreciate that we have the support of Mega Man. <laughs> that makes me feel good. 
<laughs> well, welcome, folks, and thank you. If if some of you are, are folks who generally tend to keep quiet um, but are speaking up because you want to join in on this conversation, like, I appreciate your involvement. Um, you know, Innocence, we've been going for two hours, but we haven't gotten very far, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm the slowest person ever. I'm sorry, I don't try to be. I just allow myself to talk. Polarized Gamer, I hope that regardless of, of how, I hope that you wind up in a place where you're happy um, most of the time. Because happiness is never an, an always thing. <laughs> well, thanks, Doug. Oh, man, Saf, I like the way you think it, you look at things. It could, Dominic. How long did Undertale take me? <laughs> uh, I talk more than, now than I did. Oh my god, whatever. I love that Ralsei is not fooled by by um, Susie's tough girl attitude now that he's seen beneath it. Evanescence, thank you for following. Hello, friend, welcome. Oh, we have another great name toast toast bread oh that's fantastic hello sub forum welcome and thank you for the sub i'm sorry toast toast bread that's a great name <laughs> oh my god <laughs> susie's like don't make me uncomfortable here <sighs> what whatever This is my, this is my team scarf. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too, Coyote Dash. Crochet. That's croquet. That's a... Oh my god. Oh my god, look at his face. Just look at his face. Just look at his face. Oh my god. So the hammer, there's a hammer, the significance of the hammer and Gerson. There's, there's significance with Gerson. That's why I think it might be his classroom. I don't know why I think it's his classroom. First day today. Power of immediate nostalgia. Oh my god, Toby! You're so mean to us, Toby! How dare you make fun of me like that? Oh, that's right, he said he was gonna bake us a cake. Oh, we got sub two hours to the first save point? Excellent. Level two? I want the cake. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, did I seriously hit one hour and 59 minutes? Are you joking? Are you joking? Oh look, I'm still the bed inspector! I leveled up in my bed inspectordom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so for anyone who misses why this is funny, yesterday when I reached the first save point, <laughs> um, I, it was sub 90 minutes because it was 89 minutes and 59 seconds. This time, we were sub two hours from the first save point. What, one hour and 59 minutes? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Anyway. It's a slow run. That's correct. I feel like I should be like, it's a slow run after all. It's a slow run. I'll spare you. <laughs> Amazing. Maybe so, Lost Wanderer. Maybe so. But... 
Do I have equipment still? I do! Oh, and I got all of their stuff in my inventory. Alright, let's go recover our friends. Didn't get animated, but that's okay. <laughs> Logged out. Amazing. 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 That's adorable. Oh. So our theorizing was that this... Somebody suggested, and I think they had a very good point, that this door is the door between the closet and the unused classroom so that might not open again which is curious and I don't know what that means <laughs> okay so all my stuff carried over I love the legend song look at all the sparklies okay the, the light is whoop 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 Wait, uh, light candy? <sighs> it's the chalk. That's right. Thanks, Toby Fox. Oh man, I look so cool. They just have such a good sense of coolness. How is time going to pass? Okay, I'm going to gather up everything. Is it on my head? Please tell me it's on my head. Please tell me that this is my hat and I'm going to walk with this collection of stuff on my head as a hat. The Undertale series is great. It is both cute and cool and completely ridiculous. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have the best hat. I want this hat. Somebody needs to make me this hat. This can be the chat hat. What do you think? What do you think? There's like a pile of just junk with, with, uh, with Sham on it. Just, that's my hat. That's my chat hat. I've decided. <laughs> Amazing. I mean, I mean, hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> All right, we're just gonna have purple face on my head for the rest of the stream. All right, <laughs> until I get bored of this. Has anyone not met purple face? This is purple face. Oh, I'm glad some of you remember him. I thought some of you might be happy to see him again. Purple face, you will notice by the way, um, if you haven't met purple face before purple face is mostly purple as you can see what part of him isn't purple I'll give you a hint it's his face <laughs> That's correct, Justin. Purple face is purple, except for his face, which is not purple. <laughs> oh man, you should totally get some sushi then. No, I'm not gonna do anything to purple face to hurt him. Purple face is fine as he is. Anyway, I'm good at naming things. I'm really good at naming things. This is why you should be very careful in letting me name things. Because you never know what you're going to get. Yes, Asgore and I have similar similar uh, naming skills. Okay, Flutie Bot wants us to stretch. So I'm going to stretch. Oof, crack, 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 
crickety crackety. Uh, dark purple face. I'd be curious what dark purple face would look like. Not a fan out of that. Um, no, okay, so uh, I think Andrew asked about um, a missable thing. Look, if you don't think I'm going to go absolutely everywhere with this thing on my head, you don't know me. <laughs> okay. If you think I'm going to go exactly the direction that the game wants me to go, if you think I'm going to follow instructions and progress the story... I missed it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm gonna overhear their conversation uh. yep oh no yep here we go hmm but yes please no back seating <laughs> but I will say try try to have faith in me I know there will be times that I will miss things, and I am sorry. You may ask. We're coming upon a missable section, and we can discuss whether that is a good thing, or I may ask you to consult with spoiler chat and see whether the consensus is that I should have a hint. Um, but yes. I don't like going where I'm supposed to go and get very upset if the game acts, if I accidentally wander into the first, the right place the first time. So I probably have missed things and I probably will continue to miss things, but I will do my best to be thorough. This is not so good. Oh my God. She's lying. She's covering for me. Oh. Oh my God. Is Toriel going to see through this? Oh, look at her cute little face. Oh no, she believes it. It's amazing. It's the pacing. It's the timing. It's the everything that makes this so great. It's okay for your child not to be normal, Toriel. Mm. Just slightly. Yeah, Toriel got uh, got um, Alfie's her job here. And Alfie's is not doing well. <laughs> Giant Josh Orb. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, child. Okay, Chris, I feel like I'm, I feel like Chris and I are coming to an understanding. Here, be, do be careful with... No. Okay, I put everything else into the closet. That closet. Alright. I don't know. Here, Melitzana, um... I know that there are going to be things that I'm going to miss, um, and that's unfortunately just kind of part of how it is. I am an incredibly contrary person though, so if people start telling me something to do, then I can't do it, <laughs> and I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, I can play it again when the next chapters come out. We can just play through one, two, and then onward again, just if I've forgotten everything, and then we'll see what I can do. Yes. So if you want to know, like, you can be like, there's a thing that's missable here do, or a thing that's missable soon. Do you want to know about it? And then we can have a conversation about whether that happens. And then there's also, there's also the discord server has a spoiler channel. 
um, that you can go in and ask the mods to give you permission to be in, and then you can go and talk through things with everybody else as much as you want. <laughs> oh, Lydian, look at that. You've got cute little bunny signs. That's awesome. Okay, thank you, Lydian. Amazing. Let's go ahead and go in, shall we? Let us return our friends to the dark world. I'm going to do this. I wonder how things are going to... I wonder if the world's shape is going to change, if everybody's going to be full, like filling um, uh, the the dark world town. Ralsei's town. I don't think we have a name for it yet. Saf, that is me. That is me. I, I knew the word obstinate when I was a very young child. It means stubborn. It is a word. There are two words that I knew that were way outside of my vocabulary level when I was a little kid. Obstinate and loquacious, stubborn, and talkative to an extreme. I know this is shocking to everyone. <laughs> hey, Jessen. I hope we get to see Lancer again, too. Oh my god, I'm jumping in with them on my head. <gasps> oh, that's cool! <laughs> Man, you and me both, Susie. Oh my god. They all get their own little places. Amazing. Oh my god. Look at her face. Just look at her expression. Just look at how there's there's no like grouchy cool girl. There's no holding anything back. This is just a hundred percent happy Susie. I am so happy for her. Like, her growth has been incredible. And if something takes some of this away from her, which very, very well may happen, I'll be really upset. But that's okay. Yeah, no, it's really great. Oh my god. She's run for and hug him! Oh no, even better! Even better! That's better than a hug. <laughs> that was so cute. Oh my god. Look at the dust bunny beside her. It looks so happy. Oh, and it's happy! Oh, I love happy! Oh, and that guy too, I suppose. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Lancer's just laying on the floor in happiness. And he gets up and dances. She's concerned. Ah. We're gonna be roommates. <laughs> oh, that works too. Oh my god. Toby Fox. I too loved Soul Blazer and Dark Cloud. Act Razor was too hard for me though. We are. We have confirmation, by the way, that Toby Fox likes quintet games, since there were things that are intentionally referencing Illusion of Gaia. So I think it's safe to assume that he has played all of their games. Do you know we're probably not ever going to get any more Quintet games ported over because apparently one of the head to, like one of the founders of Quintet mysteriously disappeared and nobody knows where he is or what he's doing. Like, on one hand I'm upset that we're never going to get like a re-release of Terranigma or Illusion of Gaia. On the other hand, I can't think of a game development studio that would be more appropriate to have somebody just mysteriously vanish. <laughs> and none of his collaborators know what he's doing now. A friend shared that with me. 
um, earlier this week. Um, after um, Act Razor's remake was was released, and I was like, "Does this mean we're gonna get turning wrong? <laughs> Please?" But apparently, the licensing situation is different because they had done something with Act Razor, so they might have still had the rights from the last time that happened. But yeah, no, he didn't like disappear, disappear like that. Like they have some trace of some of what he's done, but nobody really knows what he's up to apparently. Yes, that sounds good, May. I, I'd play that. So I love Quintet. Their games are really dark and beautiful and all about duality. And oh, man. I really like them. Anyway, this is definitely like, that's the sort of thing he's pulling. He's pulling from here as inspiration. Well, you'll be glad to know that the middle game in the Soul Blazer or Terra Earth trilogy, you fight with a flute. I gave my sister my old piccolo because she had a will costume when I was like, here, now you have a good prop. Yes, this flute is pink. Somehow I don't think I've ever done a cover from that game, which is weird. Man, I don't know the Breath of Fire 2 soundtrack as well, but I'll totally buy it. Because uh, Toei Fox is a big fan of Super Nintendo RPGs. Yes, 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 yes! Absolutely, I love everything about this. I'm so happy right now. Lancer, please. Fresh and fragrant egg. Oh my god, he's so cute. Ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> I have a list of songs that I'd like to cover from Illusion of Guy. I just haven't done it. I've done Terra Enigma covers. I think plural. Did Toei play this piano himself? It sounds kind of like he did. You're just in time for music, my friends. So this was what he was playing on the piano during the concert. Choir. special. Oh, my camera was off center because I wanted you folks to see purple face, but I suppose we can we can go back to normal Lauren now. <laughs> the 
there's something really, really special about this being him playing it himself, you know? Like, there's a lot of composers who do use their own instrumentation. Um, like, I have a lot of friends who are composers and who, who write game music, and a lot of them are like, well, it's great that I play these instruments because then I don't have to worry about either doing a virtual version or hiring someone else. Um, but possibly because Toby Fox does such a good job of keeping a barrier between himself and us, um, hearing, like, him playing manually, like, playing an instrument himself makes it feel more... There's just, there's something really, uh, personal about it that I think is wonderful. And I think it adds to it, you know? I, I can't think of quite the word that I'm looking for. But it's not just how beautiful it is and how it does capture that, that sort of homesickness. Intimate, I think, is a good word for it. Yeah. Um, and for a game that's as deeply personal as what Toby Fox creates, I think that that's really important. Yeah. I think that that it fits and it's beautiful. Like all of the things that he creates, I think come from his soul. Um, and then he throws in enough wacky and or a little bit dirty humor to throw us off the trail of the fact that he's like bearing his soul to us. Um, but like there is that, that really beautiful intimacy of this. It's great. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It is, it's, it's sincere. It's genuine. I love it. Good for him. Thank you for doing this for us, Toby. Even if your wrists hurt, thank you for recording this song for us. It adds to the game that it's you playing it. I know he can't hear me, but I'm saying it anyway because I, because thanking somebody sometimes just feels good to do, even if they don't hear you. <laughs> These are, this is my angel and my devil. <laughs> and the one with horns is definitely not the devil. I actually own a ton of Homestuck albums because several years ago you could buy them all cheap and I had heard enough of the music to know that I really liked it. There's like something called like fantasy or something that has flute. And I think that's my friend Yishan playing flute in it. But anyway, it's really pretty. So um, there's some really good Homestuck music, even if you're not a Homestuck, so. <laughs> nah, no, Saf. Um, I have some friends who've covered this song. I've been trying really hard to avoid any spoilers. The hardest thing is my friends posting the covers that they've been working on. Um, it could be Remaris. It could be. We'll see. All right. We're going to talk to everyone. How do they know my name? Ralse? Ralse, are you like Flowey? But like the anti Flowey? <laughs> Thanks, Samovar. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, well, like, I'm actually really glad that I changed the names so that I know. From whom? <laughs> oh, amazing. So the party dojo. Oh, oh, it's the fist guy. And it'll be like everybody else who is in the, the clubs club. Okay, we're... I'm sorry, I'm gonna interrupt this music for a second because I'm going to the party dojo, which 
I have to point out that the word party looks like the word party in Party City's logo. <laughs> Which is great. Oh, what? Excuse me. Hi, Clover. Oh, did they all have the faces so you could tell which was which before? I don't remember that. Oh my god, I really like Clover. Oh my god, it's one of the tutorial folks. Whole. Oh my god, right. They have a Patreon, I forgot. Oh my god, miss, please talk about our whole. Dark followers. I probably should have seen that one coming. Yes, supporting artists directly on Patreon is a good way of helping folks. I found out that Kate Beaton has a Patreon. She doesn't advertise it, but someone mentioned it on Twitter. <laughs> so I immediately went and, and, and supported her and then read all of her comics and felt like crying and laughing. She's amazing. Um, one unit of legal tender. <sighs> oh man, so I guess they probably will say something different if you didn't fill their hole with your dollar oh, oh, oh. oh I thought that was me oh look it's no it's him it's him it's him I mean I realize I'm assuming gender here and I probably shouldn't but they aim for where you were not where you go they're like hey Lauren this might help you be better at bullet hell Toby Fox is like not everyone has played a Toho so let me help which is helpful because I didn't realize that. Yeah, Kate Beaton is my favorite comic artist. I absolutely love her. Like Toby Fox, she has a very, very weird, absurd, and dry sense of humor that involves a lot of wordplay. And then when she writes things that are very personal and serious, they are raw and real and painful and beautiful in the best possible way which is what I like yes she's Harker Vagrant but if you haven't read any of her serious comics like she has a, she has one coming out which is actually how I found out about this that's about a, kind of a, a cultural tragedy that happens um, in the area that she so her family is from so it's really good yeah see I don't play this genre at all, so I needed to have this explained to me. I appreciate him doing this because I suspect that if you've played Toho, which he obviously has because he has musical influence from it, um, and I guess that's probably part of why he's like, I should make a bullet hell in this game. Um, for him, that sort of thing would be more intuitive, but then he's like, wait, not all of you know this. Um, and that's great. The bigger they are, the less to fear. Take your prize and learn the size. So you'll figure out the actual hitbox if you get hit. Okay. We got raided? Who are we raided by? Oh, Jer! Hi, Jer! Hello! Thank you so much! Oh my god, speaking of my musical friends, can somebody do a shout out to Jer right there? Hi, thank you so much for raiding, friend! How are you doing? Have you been having a crazy musical adventure? <laughs> Oh man. Jer, have you done any Delta Rune covers yet? It seems like you would have. Thank you, Ampy. Didn't
didn't you just have a birthday like a week or two ago? Time has no meaning, so it might have been longer ago, but I feel like that was very recent. Okay. Yeah, if you want to hear awesome music. Okay, look at that. I was so close. Wednesday wasn't that long ago. So happy belated birthday, Jer. Um, Jer is a friend of mine. He's a fantastic pianist, incredibly skilled and talented, and I have to shout him out. So my band, The Returners, was invited to play a show up in Michigan, um, and sort of last minute, our keyboardist wasn't able to make it because of a family funeral. And Jer, bless him, stepped up and said, you know, I will learn her music because we have some overlap in our repertoire. Um, there's a couple of songs, a couple of games that we play, and you know, Jer's a very good pianist, and Wedge is a very good pianist, but he's like, I can do this. And the one thing he didn't count on was the fact that we play Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> but other than that, like, I, I think, don't think our stuff was too much of a pain, and he did a great job anyway. Like, you would never know that it was hard. <laughs> but, uh, it was fun. Yes. No, I very much, we, we appreciated that so much, Jer, because we couldn't have done it without you. So, so thank you for saving us um, as we as we drove across the country from Texas to Michigan in two or three cars with another band friend of ours trading off. So we drove straight through. People were sleeping in the car and taking shifts driving. It was great. Such a good time. Um, and uh, it was it was great to have a friend that we could count on to fill in. So yeah, everybody go follow Jer if you like good music. It, it was a it was it was very fun. It was a great show. I also did chaos baking, uh, so my my found baking with no uh, found cake with no recipe in a in a uh, what's it called? But they don't eat any carbs or anything like that. There's somebody's kitchen because uh, we were we were put up for a night in somebody's house and they were paleo. That's it. They were paleo, and I managed to bake them something with what was in their kitchen. <laughs> Purple face fell. Kiddo, 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 maybe, I don't know, it was one of those. Yeah, I've been on many a road trip, often because of band-related shenanigans. Anyway, so I got distracted by this music, too. Um, but yeah, I, this is Toby Fox playing on his piano, and I think that's awesome. Oh, look, it's the punchy guy! Hold on, my controller did its thing again. Michigan to Arkansas. I can imagine how long that would be. That's not too far off from Texas to Arkansas. Or Texas to Michigan. Oh. I was gonna ask, actually, Jer. Um. La, 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 la. Uh, Alright, I remember you. Normal shaped train myself for the tournament. Oh my god, is there going to be a tournament? Probably not. I like that it's like a disco ball in the middle of the dojo. It's excellent. Um, no, it doesn't remind me of any particularly famous anime openings, but I also don't know all the animes. I'm sorry. I don't recognize this guy. High Vault. Um. That sounds familiar actually now. Is it the, is it the Evangelion theme? Toby Fox. 
It has more of a Ghibli feel overall, but I can see that. I never really watched much Evangelion. Oh, nice, Vince. I'm glad to know Silva Gunner is always there for us. Oh, oh my god. Oh man. Oh my god. I love these people. <laughs> they made a dojo to teach me. Oh, they're so cute. Okay. Yes, please. I'm not normally one for challenge things, but did you hear how cute and happy he is? They're so excited. Also, notice he's only got one baby because they don't need to have a whole bunch of them. Yeah, Evangelion is just not quite for Lawrence. I don't want Joe's life savings. Why would I want Joe's life savings? That seems really mean. I can take a hundred dollars. Oh, I forgot I turned the music way up to listen to that. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Oh no, sorry. <laughs> I was turning my volume down, so I died. Oh, I think it just healed me. Thank you. Okay. Great, so I'm gonna pay attention. Oh no! <sighs> okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, I think I understand. I think I get it. Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. I'm moving too much, I think. Hold on. This is actually gonna help me a little bit. Do you mind, folks? Do you mind? Bye, Jer! Thank you so much! I'm not- I mean- I'm probably not nearly as far as you are because I'm the slowest person in the world. But thank you so much. Um, and thank you to all of Jer's folks. Oh, I didn't introduce myself, Jer's folks. If any of Jer's folks are still here, hi, I'm Lauren. <laughs> I'm Lauren the Flu- Really, Jer? Cause like, I've been playing for a couple of hours, but people have been telling me I'm like half, of, half an hour through the game <laughs> because I talk so much. So, okay. All right, well then don't get spoiled, my friend. And enjoy. <laughs> I'm not there yet, Jer. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I just got to my town <laughs> for the very first time. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, uh, <laughs> don't underestimate my inability to progress through stories. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm three, two and a half hours, almost three hours into the game and I'm there. Uh, um, no, so any of Jer's folks who are still here, hi, I'm Lauren the Flute. You can probably tell from my name that I play flute, although I don't do tons of music streams. I do some occasionally. I'm planning to do a Halloween concert with a bunch of my friends, but I should probably finish planning that and also put together my Zagreus costume. <laughs> All right, bye, Jer. Um, I do mostly game streams. I talk a lot about feelings and narrative and life observations and trying to piece together what's happening in stories and things. So if that's something that sounds like your jam, please pull up a chair and hang out with us. We're going to listen to the music from this game and talk a lot about it. So you're more than welcome to chill. All right, we're going to try this again because I think I get it. And this might actually help me with the thing that I didn't understand with... I keep wanting to call Jevil Jervil. Oh. Oh, I did better. I did better. Can I just call him Jervil from now on? Okay. 
Okay. I just... Chaos gerbil. Oh, jeez. See, he turns you around so that you can't accidentally mash at the person if you don't want to. But he can't do that when it comes to staircases. Or doors. I take issue with that. That's true, Mukai. I should know that. I learned that, I think, fighting Papyrus. Oh, right timing. I'm gonna figure this out. God, the music is so good. I should see if Wedge will cover the piano part of that. My bandmate Wedge, who... Oh, darn it. I appreciate that the music goes right back to where it was instead of starting over because Toby Fox knows how annoying that is. Oh, do you see? Do you see he has little hearts? A little heart over his head. Oh my god, they're so cute. Are they this nice to you if you aren't nice to them in the first game? We have hit frog face territory. I can't quite wrap my head around it. Is this how things worked in Undertale too? Not the grazing, but things going to where you where you were instead of just doing their own thing. Did that ever happen? Because I feel like usually it had its own pattern. Okay. I never learned that. Okay. I I never something in my brain is really struggling with this right now. And it may be the fact that I might not have slept last night. It's a mystery. Like with Hades, I don't really know how it's working, when it works. I still don't understand how I do as well as I do in Hades. I don't understand. I feel like it's kind of a fluke. don't feel I'm really good at dodging in Hades that's true I'm that's what I do that's the only thing I'm good at but I'm good at it <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh man, Cyber's trying to get me to be able to do this by saying it's jumping. Exactly, Dr. Sweets. I will ask for help when I need it. In the meantime, I'm going to try to wrap my head around it. And that's partly me not, not liking backseating and also partly that people explaining things to me doesn't often work and it winds up being kind of frustrating to everyone involved. Oh my god, how many of these are there? <sighs> I'm mixing metaphor soup. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I things being explained doesn't work for me. I have to it's not it's not even muscle memory. It's 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 wrapping my head around it. Oh, the goal was to reach 100% TP. Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay. Well, good to know. <laughs> I did a thing. Amazing. Okay, but did I read that? <laughs> no, no, I know I did not. <laughs> Maybe I should look at that. Oh, it, oh, it does say it. Oh, look at that. I was just looking at these things. I forgot that there'd be text up at the top of the screen. Hi, Cody. Are you marveling at how not far along I am? Or the fact that I didn't read that. La, 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 la. Oh, it was percentage mercy. Okay. Oh, because Susie always. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna check him. He jigs in. Jig a jig jig jig. Oh, we've all got more health. I don't want to. Oh my god. I'm not gonna beat you up. Don't worry. No, I'm not. Hold on. Oh 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 oh! Did it have an HP and mercy bar there before? I feel like. I don't know, Mr. Boo Boo, I don't remember. Okay, so that is new. Okay. It looks really weird, though. Guys? Those are status bars. With a computer terminal font. That's why it doesn't fit in with anything else. None of the rest of these things have that same kind of font. That's really weird super ugly color like the thing the percentage is 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 helpful but it is different it gives it a different feel all right are you gonna spare Susie you should spare or I'll say you should also spare just in case oh my god oh my god the animation for that his little happiness amazing Oh no, it's okay. I'm so I'm not I'm not trying so I'm not trying to be mean to Toby Fox. <sighs> Things that are oh my god, 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 I love him. Oh my god. Looks like he can use a bedtime story! <gasps> Susie's gonna read it. Oh my god. 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 That's an amazing story. Susie. Susie. Ow. 
I learned that. That one I know how to do. <laughs> she does try. That's true. No, the, I'm not. So I'm not criticizing the progress bars. I think they're great. It's just really funny because I was like, why do I have this visceral reaction to the way they look? And it's because it makes me think of trying to boot up a computer that wasn't working <laughs> or something like that, you know? Oh my god, Ralsei keeps his hands like folded behind his back. What a cutie. <laughs> so is it Stainus or Stennis? Or none of the above? <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, I'll probably keep asking a lot of you how to pronounce your names and I will do my best to remember. That makes sense, Fat Reuniclus, but I played chapter one and I still didn't understand some of these things, so. I like that the claims fonts aren't all the same size. Look, the second one is like more compressed. I think that's great. It's wonderful. All right, Clover, let's do it. I don't know what this means, but I'm going to do it. Oh, right. I forgot that that's how they worked. Wait, do those? Do those? Seek me instead of being random? Bickering with herself? Oh my god, I love that use of pronoun. Oh my god. Okay, those are random. Okay, I thought so. I love- I'm sorry, I love herself as a plural. That's just wonderful. a lot of damage. Oh my god, Susie's gonna die. That's no good. I know she likes cute boys. This music is so good. Oh, hey, stealth! Oh, well, don't worry. Like, I'm not really doing much right now because I have taken three hours to get approximately half an hour into the game. But you should probably play chapter one before seeing much of chapter two. Ten minutes really, Mogment? Oh, I think that's worse than usual. Please ignore them. Oh my god, it's a cat's paw! Look at her little paw! Oh my god, what a cutie! Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, I'm doing really badly. Susie's gonna die. Susie's gonna die. I'm sorry, Susie. I'm letting you down, my friend. Music's really good though. You should definitely check it out. The first game, or the first chapter for most people isn't very long. Like what, most people are what, six hours? Five hours? I took 12, but um, that's not indicative of how long any other human on the earth will take to play a video game. Whew. 
god, the music is really good. Oh shoot, I could... Okay, we're gonna lose Susie. Yep, no, no, we're gonna lose Ralsei. Okay, oh, Susie's, Susie's down. All right, well, she's really down. That's okay, I think I can spare. No? Oh, I can't spare her? Okay, well, we're gonna do topic and you're gonna spare. Yes. We got it. I'm not gonna use items on an optional challenge combat thing. Silver Leashin, thank you so much for following. I'm so grooving. I'm sorry, but this is a music that you gotta groove to. Oh, really? Okay, Blue Glass, I thought it was just me. <laughs> I was like, man, I am failing at this. <laughs> all right well the one who walks through fire if you're going to play this game yourself this is the second chapter so there will be spoilers for the first chapter contained within we are at the very beginning because i'm the slowest person ever with chapter one or with chapter two um but if you wish to avoid spoilers i would recommend that um that you play the game yourself it's very charming there's gonna be more challenges. There's more blank spaces. Look at these fists. Look at these fists. Do you see these fists? We got we got we got punching gloves. We got a disco ball. We got some dancing boom boxes. And there's a bed in the corner. Like, what more could you want? I also forgot everything from playing chapter one, so I had to replay it yesterday so that I would remember it for this game. National Ham Sandwich Day of Independence. Oh, Susie will like that. The music, this this song alone is worth the price of admission. La, 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 la. Oh man, Remaris, well, I'm happy to introduce you to uh, the ridiculousness of the rest of it. And I think I don't think that the ham sandwiches are, are themselves liberated. I think that the ham sandwich is the method by which we celebrate our liberation. Uh, oh no, I think you can work on enjoying your life. It is good to have a goal of enjoying your life. I'm glad that Toby Fox has not arranged these as boobs anymore. Cyber, I appreciate that. That's amazing. Oh man, my goal... God, the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster is going to come out at some point. I've been thinking about streaming it. Even though I've already played Final Fantasy VI on stream. I might do it. I might subject you all to that. Just because... Oh my god, bow bow. I'm just a block. Get it. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. So I wonder if these houses will turn into places once I recruit more people. I can't wait to hear what they do with the Aria. My goal is to have the podfic version of my Final Fantasy VI fanfic done by the time the Pixel Remaster comes out, because I need to have I need to have goals and deadlines, or I get distracted and don't always do things. So I'm working on that. I'm gonna try to have the first two chapter, well, the, the prologue in the first chapter turned into a podfic. Uh, I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> but I re-recorded with Sellies on Friday night because she had a microphone issue so we had to re-record so we got the we got the prologue while we were at it so um it'll come together um and then i just need a couple of guards and the first two chapters will be in need of nothing but my narration and then all of the editing but that's okay that's right non-binary starry <laughs> it's a podcast fic i've written the fanfic I'm, I'm in the process of writing the fanfic it's very it's very long it has many words um but i decided i wanted to turn it into like an audiobook with actors playing the characters doing the characters narration and voices um 
so I'm I like Final Fantasy 6 so if you're interested in that I will be talking about it I might even do some sort of a stream related to it at some point it's a novelization of Final Fantasy 6 centered around Locke and Sully's because they're my favorite characters of all time in my OTP um, so it it goes through the uh, <laughs> no understatement at all, Blue Glass. Blue Glass has actually been keeping up with it. I appreciate that you read it, friend. Um, but it's a, it's very. Uh, I've, 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 I've streamlined the story some, um, made it a bit more tonally consistent, so there's no purple octopus, um, and uh, and have leaned into the melodrama and tragedy. But I've tried to put some comedy in, and there is in fact going to be an attempt at comic relief. In, a, in an upcoming chapter. I'm sorry, Ultros, but he just... Okay, melodrama, tragedy, and seriousness. Ultros. <laughs> I don't think I could pull him off. I love him. Don't get me wrong. I love Ultros, but there is no place... Okay, one, one who walks through fire, you have to understand that my feelings about Locke are very intense <laughs> and personal. He's my favorite character, like, of all time. <laughs> <laughs> he is like my like life goals. I want to just be him. No, he's really great. It's, it's actually interesting. Writing the fanfic has been a really interesting exercise in exploring like ways of thinking about things and thinking about self that feel good to me through the characters that I'm writing. So, uh, no. So, one who walks through fire. I'm talking about. Um, I'm talking about that one boss, Ultras. I, you know, I recently heard people talking about Terra as a trans allegory, and I had a friend who liked her and had that connection, um, which isn't obviously that's not that's not a, a not a, not a reading that I I think I had the experience to see, um, but uh, but I like that, and I think it's wonderful for us to find representation wherever we can, um, and stories that speak to us. Like, I know that, I don't know if Toby Fox may even have intended for Metaton story to, to be that kind of a narrative, but whether he intended it or not, I think there's a lot of parallels there. I love, I love Savin too. See, I always read Terra as Ace and Arrow, <laughs> and so that's my reading of her. Um, but she definitely has some sort of otherness. I, I love her. Um, oh man. I just, I love, uh. I love Locke and Sully's most. I have heard about that Roxana, but I haven't seen it. But that does sound, from what I've heard, very intentional. Like, in case you missed it with Metaton, he's like, okay, well, how about this character? Oh, is this, is this Shams shop? It's got the banners and pins and stuff, so I'm inclined to say yes. Yes. Hi, Sham. Okay, it looks like we've got the same stuff. God, I love this song. I can go on at length about how much I love Locke and why I love him, but um, I've written 140,000 words. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll spare you. It is cozy and spooky. Like, yeah, no, there's... But it feels very RPG-ish enough. I respect that people can ship Locke and Sully's with people who aren't each other, but I can't do it. <laughs> Oh man, we're in the castle town. It makes no difference. That's what you always say, Sham. I think you need to get some of that, like, nihilism taken care of, my friend. You know? Like, that's maybe not ideal. that Victor Ghost. I 
think if you want to write a story, you should go ahead and write that story, whether you feel like you know what you're doing or have the skill to do it or not. You can give it a try, and if it turns out you're like, no, I'm not quite ready yet, well, you can return to it at another point. But I don't think that there's any, any need to be intimidated by creating something that you're making out of love for yourself. I really feel like, um, okay, so you know how sometimes in games you have like the previous generation of heroes and they didn't work out for whatever reason things didn't go right? So like for example in Lunar you have Galleon and Dine and the rest of them, L Lemia I think is Mia's mom, um, and in Final Fantasy X you've got Oron and Dekt and Braska. Um, and I feel like, oh no, there's a delay. Oh, that's a shame, Andrew. I, that's be, I had so I had fixed that actually. Um, but then when flute, when 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 tough stuff broke, my settings got reset. So let me fix that. Hold on. Oh wait, no, it did remember that. Faster, me? Like, who's ahead? <laughs> the game is slightly ahead. Is that better or worse? It's amazing. Technology is incredible, folks. Okay, I'm sorry. I should probably play this video game that we're all here to, to play. I'm sorry. No. Fortunately, if there's one thing I know how to deal with, it's audio. As long as I stay in my shop, these walls won't change. What does that mean, Sham? But it's just a little bit amusing to see you again. I feel like Sham and um, the Lancer's dad, at least, were part of the previous hero party um, for whoever the previous Lightner was. Yeah, his button rotates. You three will have an interesting journey. Nope. I will come back. Oh, are you British? Are there biscuits instead of cookies? Princess in the castle. Oh. Oh man. So they give you they give you hints. That's very nice of them. Okay, let's see what's going on in the cafe. Wait, but, 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 but you have a bakery. But, but, okay. All right, let's take a look at what's in your book. Your book doesn't, where's my flavor text, Toby Fox? <sighs> Amazing. Thank you, Toby Fox. Amazing. Oh my god. What does he serve in the bakery then? What does rolls do? I'm sorry. Check recruits? Oh, oh, is it gonna tell me you hey, folks? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Wait. Shine on you lazy diamond. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Thank you, Blue Glass. Oh my god, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's an Ultros advocate in chat. Ultros advocate, I salute you, my friend. 
anyone who loves Final Fantasy VI enough to put it in their name anywhere is somebody that I'm appreciate that I appreciate, and I'm happy to see around. <laughs> I love Ultros, I just can't write him, so I wrote him out of my fanfic. Oh my god, I love Hathi. She doesn't like drama. You know, man, me too. I don't like mind- I I'm interested in hearing drama that doesn't relate to me, but... Pawn man. <sighs> Folks, it's a chess pawn. disappointed in myself. I I like some animes. I missed it, Avalon. La, 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 la. No. No, I didn't. Mr. Youngin. I didn't get it. I even was trying to figure out. I was like, what is this guy? What is this one supposed to be? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, everyone else in this game is a pun man. <laughs> Does, dislikes moving backwards. See, because pawns can't. They can only move forward until they get to the other side and get queened? Kinged? Likes to sleep? Man, same. Dusty places dislikes vacuum. Known to play dirty, but loves to play clean. Oh, that's really good. Blocks. Her blocking is not its forte. Amazing. <laughs> dislikes formal shoe wear. Likes cross trainers. I have not seen that one, no. Basically, the animes that I know are like 90s and early 2000s animes. And then Haikyuu I watched recently with my former roommate. <laughs> oh my god, Jigsawry, you're adorable. This one doesn't work so well again for me because I have a Canadian accent and Sorry is one of the big tells. Likes fitting in just like Susie Axe. Oh man, I'm sorry. Element Mouse? Mouse, puzz, puzzle mouse, fight, jewel blade. Okay, root and ranger. Oh, that's like show getting taped over. Amazing. Oh, I'm sorry, head hathy. Oh, oh, you don't like being alone. But it's it's jig sorry, so it's got to be off of the saw. So be sorry. Jewel, heart, order. Rabbit, dust, fight. I feel like these might just be flavor text. Oh, I get to figure out where to put them? Oh my god. Where, where, that's too much responsibility. Oh, never mind. Oh, I can put different ones here. Oh, I. Hathi. Can't, so I can't move these two because they're they're happy. Hathi seems fine. Oh, everyone's friends with Hathi, actually. Jukebox is broken. Might never find a working one. Other letting you know that you might not. Toby Fox, don't think you can make me never talk to a jukebox in your game. I will talk to every jukebox, no matter how many times you tell me they're broken. Just in case, just in case, we're gonna get a five. Okay, all right, I did it, I tried it. Oh, prize, okay, okay, generate.
I want to see what these folks say. <laughs> Normally shaped body. I'm glad that your body is normal. Again, I'm sorry. I'm having some trouble with controls. Um, okay. Cool. La, 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 la. Clean start for us here. Sukiri? Sukir? Is that... All right, are you ready for the music to probably change? Transplanteth. I, you know, people who read voices for every character in this game must hate him. <sighs> Thou guys. Nope. Vice father. Do all the cooking and cleaning. Oh, you're Angers. Man, took me a while. Okay. Okay, this is not what I that this This is not what I expected. I I thought that rules had taken over. why I'm not a voice actor. I don't think of these things. Oh my god, Lancer's wearing his mustache. I, I am no, dear, no, I oh, why are you here? You're in the wrong place. I want to put you in the right place. Oh! Twin women. Oh my god, you'll just put your hair into pigtails. Amazing. Spike band, glow wrist, iron shackle. The double deck dark burger takes two bites to finish. Oh, so that means it takes up less space in your inventory. I see, I see. Silver card. Increases dropped money by 5%. Probably has its uses. <laughs> that doesn't seem to get stuck to itself. Hmm, that sounds like it's something that, uh, that a certain purple person would wear. Oh man, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> I don't. Oh, Sam Rivar, well, thank you for, for, uh, dropping by. Have a good night. I hope you, I hope you feel well, um, and get a good night's sleep. I don't have any of these things. Twisted sword, a strange blade. Oh, I'm interested in that. Possible samovar. All right. I don't. I hate inventory management and gear management. Susie won't take it. try this. Sure, I don't know what it does. Um, as far as gear, oh my god, I love his squeaky his squeaky toy. I feel like Gerson has something to do with the hammer thing, but Chef Lancer. Hand form cookies. Like, I I feel like the hammer must have been something significant. Maybe Gerson, when he was a child, came here, and then he wrote stories based on his dreams, but they were based on the um, adventures that he had in the dark world. What's the price? Zero dollars. I really love, I really love the little, like, quiet commentary there. Take cookie. Toki a cookie! Oh my god, you took a cookie! Susie keeps winding up being low on health, so <laughs> money, that's what I need. 
better than nothing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're gonna go with that. that amazing thank you i will inspect all the beds hathi i will do my best otherwise i'll stop being okay well that looks like that's the end of the folks that i can talk to here oh look there's a save point and a book let's go transform from the power of friendship power of friendship based architecture its value increases each chapter huh I am a fan of storage. Recruits. Manual? Controls? Okay. Confirm and interact with things. Cancel hold to run. Oh, okay. Hold that to quickly skip text boxes. Okay, cool. Recruits. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. Oh, things automatically go to your storage if you can't fit them. That's amazing. Okay, I like that. Good night, intrusive. Thank you. Yes, the light candy is just chalk from the light world. I would appreciate that, Andrew Mellon, but I don't actually know if Toby has played um, Suikoden. I'm going to go through here. We're going to figure this out. Oh, man. Hello, friend. That's a ball. There's nothing to sphere except sphere itself. Oh my god, Toby Box. Oh, it's got Rosie's hat! Rosie's hat! Oh my god! Amazing! Please don't let me pretend to be a wizard! I want him to have played Suikoden 2, but I haven't seen anything in his game so far that seems to have referenced it, I don't think. Oh, okay. Well, if he did a Homestuck thing that referenced it, that would make sense. I am a big fan of Suikoden. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, look at this mysterious magical cauldron. Where I cook? Yeah, I was gonna say, this is not really for baking cakes. See, Andrew, it feels more to me like, um, like, like Soul Blazer, um... Uh, dark cloud sort of thing. Squeak it in. Oh my god, I like that. Uh, cauldron cooking. Yes, we, we haven't seen evidence of magic in the light world at all. Um, Toriel doesn't use fire magic to bake. There's been nothing indicating magic. It seems a lot more ma mundane. Oh my god, the explosion. She just ate the whole thing. Incredible. Oh my god, amazing. Thank you, Susie. She eats. Well, thanks for coming by, Ramaris. I will be probably playing more of this next weekend because I'm not going to be able to do another 12 hour stream tonight. Um, but, uh, but I will be putting up. I will be putting up um, the streams as they happen, and I will keep people, f I will keep folks posted on YouTube and on social media in general about what the schedule is going to be as far as continuing to play through this game. I can kind of see that spiky, but living quarters for bad guys. Basement. Okay. 
Why are the kings still in here? It's violently protecting the jail. I'm not sure that I believe that, but okay. Why are the kings here? It's okay. Oh, this hellish place where we dress as animals. What? I don't understand, but all right. Hey, Golden Sam. Golden Sam. Oh, they've got crowns. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's cultural exchange. The animals are dressing as kings and the kings are dressing as animals. Amazing. He's got a hamster wheel and hamster water. And he's just sitting here. This is really interesting. No! I mean, Susie might, but the rest of us aren't going to. No, we're not going to do this. I beg to differ. I have many things to discuss, but okay. <sighs> God, I love Susie so much. She's such a good, loving friend in her own way. This is her expressing her love for Lancer. <laughs> Your prejudice. <laughs> a bouncy little pumpkin. <laughs> or else he's like, oh, that's adorable. Susie does not approve of abusive parenting. That's cool, Susie. Notice the way he said it. I wasn't gonna do it anyway, but if I was, it wouldn't have been bad. That's kind of a way that people say things. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm really curious about this. He, he does care about Lancer, but a lot of abusers do actually care about the people they're abusing, including parents, so. Oh my god! Okay, so the blue one is mine and the purple one is hers. Why does she have a crown? Hers is all jaggedy because she's full of edge. Yeah, well, Drew, he's he's blaming her for the fact that he was pre pretending to kill his son. Oh my god! She's really excited. I, we... We haven't seen Susie's family or home, have we? Is Susie the one who keeps drinking Alphys' milk in the alleyway? Does Susie live in the alleyway? And that's why she eats chalk and anything else she can get her hands on because she doesn't have a home? So when I ask questions like this, just for clarity, this is this is me, um, mostly me thinking out loud, trying to avoid spoilers and backseaty stuff. Um, yeah, Vanessa, that's the thing is it feels very much like his dialogue is fitting kind of the way that abusers like that will talk. Because the way she's reacting to having a room indicates to me that she's not used to having a space of her own. Second home, more like a first home for, Su for Susie, I think. Oh, this is something that Susie desperately needs, I think. Yeah, look, look, look at that face. Look at that face. This is where I'll say having either, either accidentally stumbled upon something that she needs more than anything in the world or or he knows 
because he sees what we do outside. Like it's 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 possible that Susie doesn't like shares shares a room with lots of other people. Like maybe she's got a ton of siblings. I don't know. But it also could be that she doesn't have a home or any number of things in between. But it does very much seem as though she has issues with home because this stunned look indicates that he that his like basically his arrow hit his target in a bullseye. <laughs> And then of course she has to play it cool. It's just, oh, oh, oh wow. That's just, my side of the room looks like Asriel's. Look at the colors. So that's me on the upper right, Susie on the upper left, and Ralse on the bottom. Suitable for a bed inspector. Amazing. So is your bed very whether you're not. Yeah, the color scheme does seem rather intentional here. Stand for your manual. Oh, that's cute. That's really precious. Now I want to look at my bedside table. Shelf. Keepsakes could be put here. All sorts of different clothes. You could wear whatever you want. An infinite world of possibilities. This does appear to be indicating the possibility of a of of a of a directly trans non-binary um, protagonist. I don't seem to be able to interact with the moss other than to make Susie jealous that it exists. I like the crayon um, stars and the crayon window because the window doesn't matter. What matters is in the room, not what looks out. Yeah, no. I feel like so much of Chris's conflict has to do with, um, yeah, if, if, if Toby has said that, uh, yeah, enough other characters do, do use they, them to refer to, to Chris. Um, so Chris's primary conflict seems to have to do with agency. Um, and this kind of confirms that you can wear whatever you want. It's been carefully crafted. Everything's been made for you. Oh my god. Let's see what Susie's room looks like. Oh my god, there's horns on things. Because she's edgy and likes spikes. Um. Oh my god. Oh my god, does she like it? Does she like it? <laughs> yeah. For whatever reason, reason, Susie does not have her own room otherwise. <laughs> this is understatement. This is Susie barely holding it together. And she's basically like, tell me that you care enough to put a lot of effort into something for me. Please make me feel like you love me that much. <laughs> that was a friendship shoulder punch. <laughs> because she doesn't know how else to express feelings except with violence. So 
Well, see, you might have to uh, put that through a translator and know that it's a... Uh... Okay, he can put it through the translator. That's good. <laughs> She's really excited. Oh my god, that's so cute. Spike bed. Stop myself during the night. <laughs> oh no! Susie, no. Good night, Drew. Oh my god, look at how happy she is. She eats weird stuff. Yeah, it's nice to see Susie and Chris kind of like, the friendships are developing and they feel right. Oh my god. She likes, I like actual food too. Stop. I pokering my snacks. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Amazing. Spiky and dangerous clothing. Those <laughs> are ripping each other up into shreds. That's amazing. <laughs> She's amazing. I'm really glad. And this, by the way, this is one of the combat things. I don't remember what which one this is. Yeah, it's, it is nice, Nightward, because they did actually... Okay, so this is act. Thank you. They did build it over the course of the first chapter, so it works really well. Oh, that's the Rude Buster. Okay. That makes sense. All right, let's look at Lancer's cool room. <sighs> oh, my God. It has recreational... Yes, okay. I'm glad to know it's basically just his room. <laughs> She's so excited about her room. Oh my god, this is so cute. This is so cute. She's so, like, I don't know, they're just, they're really adorable together. <laughs> Oh my god, Lancer, you little weirdo. Uh... <sighs> I have to inspect all the beds. All right. More party characters? Oh, what is he hiding? What is he hiding? Look at his cute little wink, though. He's super cute. He's really cute. It is nice seeing him more, being being a little less focused on being the the prophesied hero. Um, but he definitely knows things. That he shouldn't know and I think that he knows us well enough to know what to put in our rooms um, but it is interesting to me that Chris's room looks like a mirrored version of Azrael's stuff So you have to deal with me like singing uh, randomly. So I'm feeling a little overwhelmed about placing all the people, so I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, that sort of thing gets a bit stressful for me sometimes. Oh, Shom, tell me what to do now. Stop, stop being so nihilistic. Yes, he seems to be doing better here. I 
can't go left or right though. There, there's there's not any way to go through. I checked. It's not. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chrono. Oh my god, no. No. Denied. Can? How? Oh, here we go. Uh, this isn't the town, though. This is just... Oh, okay, this is the area. Hello. <laughs> I just... <sighs> Elbow grease. No, that's even grosser. Don't be gross. Oh my god. Don't eat it. No. No. We need to get you some trees so that you don't eat... You're having a bad time. Oh, okay, never mind. That's fine. No, I mean, seriously, you can do whatever feels right with your own body. If you want to be all pants all the time, knock yourself out, my friend. <laughs> Hello. self-reflection. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, Uranuk. Yes, you did. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Lauren is the slowest streamer in the world. <laughs> Did you come here to try to check yesterday's stream? Oh. We can do it down here. Oh my god. Look at his intense look. She's gonna be carrying him in her pocket, his his card. We have to make sure nothing happens to it. Kind boy, friendship form. Okay. Hey Sims, good to see you. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm really slow, but <laughs> did your inventory. Okay. He seems really chill about the fact that he's a card, so that's good. I'm glad they're not trying to hide that. No, you're not- no! Why? <laughs> Thank you, Toby Fox. He must have learned that people actually didn't hate rules, so he's like, okay, he can come too. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. Even though no one wanted that is so true. <laughs> Because I don't want that. Uh, um, I don't understand. All right, I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these key items, shall we? <gasps> oh my god, he's dancing! I wonder if they're gonna turn into cards once I'm in the light world. <laughs> I'm a tough boy. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> 
to the hay. The hay is because he got cut off. That's amazing. That's amazing. I'm so glad. He's leaning on it, looking super cool. All right, let's do it, folks. I guess we're gonna do it. Let's do it. We're gonna move the story forward and I'm immediately gonna look in my pocket. Uh, he's gonna be a card in my pocket. Chris is meddling! I'm so happy! This is exactly what I want. Okay, hold on. The Jack of Spades and the Rules card. Hmm. No, Jer, I'm just that slow. Don't, uh, don't... Don't judge how long it should take to play a game based on anything that I do. I am the slowest. Okay, so this is all gonna be... No! No, stop. Okay. Let's do something cool with her computer. No. Cut it. Oh, that would be terrible, Yuri Nuke. I'm gonna not do that. Okay, hold on. Yay! Doesn't look like anything's changed in here. Oh! That's changed. That used to be an apple. Now I have to look at everything. Hyperdodecahedron. Like, primitive is just a funny... Oh my god. Okay. Chris's sense of humor is really, really funny. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes Chris's humor is very not for Lawrence. And a little bit more mean-spirited than I would prefer. But. But. This is really funny. <laughs> That's, t that's true. You're going to get all the flavor text. All the flavor text all the time. Except we now have a quote with me complaining about flavor text. I didn't get ooh, 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 markers. Oh. The green is the favorite, of course. I thought maybe I would write on the board. I forgot that Chris is a delinquent. And, uh... And a uh, Huff's markers. <laughs> I'm so glad to know that past Lauren three years ago and present Lauren in the modern era had the same issues. I think that's great. I did check the orange. It said oranges may or may not be safe for teachers. Whereas like apples are teacher food. Oh. Oh. I told you that was going to tell us a lot and I didn't know for sure which one it was going to be. Okay. 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 Good. Good. Okay. All right. Like, I like that he's not perfect, but he is good. He's not going to secretly be a villain, you know? It's good. I'm happy about that. There's some traffic. Hopefully nobody died. Hold on. Chapter one, they were like, we want something big to happen because it's boring here. Is this some great music? Can I talk to the plants? Is there anything here I can talk to? No. Okay. I love that Toby Fox has made a... A Wonderland portal fantasy. I think that's great.
It's totally Spear of Justice in there. Um, Undyne? Um, uh, yeah, but Lost Wanderer, the fact that there's a worse controller and Asriel's like, I'll take it. Don't worry about that, Chris. That's great. Mr. Booby, look, I'm full of drama seriousness, so I hope nobody died. <laughs> I'm going to always get that out of stories, even if it's unreasonable. She's just going through the whole soundtrack. In, a, in Undertale, she plays piano. In Deltarune, she plays honking cars. <laughs> nice night wind. <laughs> oh my god. Why, why are you why are you bench pressing it? Undyne? Why are you bench pressing? Okay. Oh my god. I'm traffic jam. Oh, special attack for cards. Oh, geez. Okay, so I have no choice but to go to the library. Well, no, the hospital re receptionist mentions Chris playing the piano, but Undyne, I don't think we see playing piano at any point. Yeah, Toby's like, no, Lauren. You will go where you're supposed to go. And I'm like, no. And he's like, what if I dropped a whole bunch of cars on the road to make it impassable? And I'm like, no. There's another another dialogue? Uh. Oh. Oh, I missed something. Oh, sad. Okay, hold on. Library. It is library. No, look at it. L I B R A R B Y. Library. It's the same as it was in Undertale, right? Okay. Okay. Just making sure. The cars have something. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I can talk to cars. What cars? Looks like a car. A man inside this one. Hello. I'm glad he's having a good time. Oh no, looks like there's only one thing. That's one way of making it so that I can't talk to everything. Cause I can't get up to talk to them, so I can't become car inspector. I would like to become car inspector, inspector, believe me. Okay, let's get away from this and into the gay. <sighs> let's go, let's go, let's go see if, if, if it becomes gay. Oh, we can go up the, the we can go up the staircase now. That is a good question. Are they stuck because of the cars? Space pinball. Oh, holy crap. Okay. I did not see that coming. Uh... The dark world is trying to come out here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're getting ready to run inside. You notice we like stood side by side. Okay, so please no spoilers or back seating. I'm going to try not looking at chat for a little bit right now. Um, because I suspect that some folks here are losing their minds with excitement. So just as a reminder, if you want to talk about things that are coming up, um, because I wish to avoid spoilers and backseating, there is a spoiler channel on our Discord where you can go and uh, and, and ask the mods for, for um, permission to get into the spoiler channel, which is locked from me, I don't see it. And you can yell about the things that are coming up to your heart's content, which also means if I miss something, you can sit there and be frustrated together, which I think is probably better than being frustrated alone. Um, so yeah, just be careful. I don't. I haven't looked at. I haven't looked at at chat. Um, so just a reminder to folks, because we're like I think we're about to have something exciting happen. So, yeah. 
Is this another dark world? Yep. Oh my god, is this Noelle's dark world? Was she trying to get Susie to come to her dark world? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. But we're bringing Lancer with us. <laughs> I can't ha handle this level of commitment and choice making. Also, I feel like Chris wouldn't want to bring people home. But I feel like this is I feel like this is more in character. <laughs> Stop pretending. Oh, oh no, don't say that, Susie. Don't say that, Susie. <laughs> it would be really okay. So the stuff on Azriel's side of the room has his name on it, right? Yes, no question. There are things on Azriel's side of the room that have... Hey, Blues. We have not progressed very far, Blues. I have another adventure. It's gonna be interesting to see how this goes. I'm glad that you folks have been enjoying it, the slowestness of it. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. I just wanted to confirm that. No, that's true. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna find the others are going to be there. Oh no, Birdly's going to be there. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess it's a computer lab. So the things in it are going to be computers. Man, Susie smirking. I love her sprite. It's great. Oh man. Dark world question mark? Um, ba -da -dum, dum, 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 dum. I started on another save file. That is totally a power plug. There's a one way thing. Paper goes here. Is, um, is this a printer? This looks like a printer. Maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump down here and see what happens. Which seems to always be a thing. You have to find your way down. Oh, look at this. There's a whole, there's a thing in the floor. Why is there a thing in the floor? A thing in the floor. Oh, hello. What, who or what are you? The wires? What about the wires? Something is bad here. Something has gone wrong. All right, let's go down. Okay, so it looks like something's been smashing. Oh, that's new. So there's going to be area hazards. Um, this place has been damaged so much. Oh, shoot! Okay. I did that. I did a puzzle. I think I did okay. Oh, hello. Sad little I can't tell what you are. What happened here? Something bad happened here. I am concerned. Oh, no! Did either Birdly or Noelle choose violence? Oh, no. I am concerned. There's a lot of things being smashed here. Oh my god, are you telling me like there are other characters who've chosen like the genocide route? She, oh my god, is it Noelle? Oh my god. Okay. 
she looks freaked out, understandably. She doesn't know what's going on, presumably. What is, what is up with her sprite? Oh my god, oh my god, she's got such a, such a, such a like crush that she's like, oh yeah, you're here. I mean, also everything here is scary and weird, but, um. Oh no, we have to go rescue the girl. I'm glad it's not that Noel chose violence. I guess there's... <sighs> so, like, as I talk about... As I talk about, like, um... You know, the music is great. So, I've talked about... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Sorry. Wait. I like the little operatic choir singing with the harpsichord. The instrumentation is so, tells you so much about this character. Like, even if I didn't see this person swirling a drink, reclining in an elegant throne, I would hear it in the instrumentation. Um, so, like, I'm assuming this is the bad guy here. I could be mistaken. Um, but that would make more sense, I suppose, than Noel being the bad guy. God, oh, God, sorry, the music got good again. Um, I haven't seen enough of her to be reminded of the King of All Cosmos, but no, I didn't expect whatever's happening here. She makes quite an entrance. So, like... There's a category of evil queens in things from the like late 80s through the 90s. Like the Battletoads evil queen. And there's like more that are like that. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, Avalon is saying stretch. I'm sorry, if I'm not seeing things if you're redeeming things, so let me know. So if you if you are familiar with the kind of character type I'm talking about. Oh, she did the oh, 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 ho, 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 ho. I don't know what her energy is yet, but we'll see. But she, right now she's making me think of the evil queen archetype from Battletoads and stuff like that. Where you're like, the, the people who made this game and the little people who play this game are having feelings about this queen. <sighs> she also says slayers. Susie is super mad because that girl she totally doesn't like or anything like that just got kidnapped by this creepy singing lady who's like Rocket Throne is probably playing this music. Oh my god, her voice is, is singing. Q5. Okay, so she's um, you're gonna have to give me an actual name. I'm not seeing anything I can make out of that. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That's like what she talks. Her ho 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 sound. Her talk sound is. Ho, 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 ho. That's really funny. She drinks. Oh my god. She gets a label. Oh my god. You gonna call her Queenie at least? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. I like that I can wind up singing along with his music after just a couple of rounds of listening to it. She 
she's not wrong. Okay, she's a computer. Oh my god, her eyes turned into nice. I don't know what that's conveying, but that's an interesting choice. So she's a computer. We are in the computer land. We are in the computer dark world. She has a really weird way of talking. She has a really, really weird way of talking. Oh my god. Is it like nice? Oh my god. Did somebody say 69 somewhere and I missed it because that's usually what that is. I love like Susie's like reaching for her. Oh my god. Your computer. And this computer. Yes. We're gonna rescue the girl. Oh my god. I'm so excited about rescuing the girl. Oh my god, this is the best possible response. Like, the absurdity of her floating back down to answer this question, and then to answer it this way, and then presumably floating back up. Like, it's so hilarious. Oh man, a text-to-speech voice. Oh, that makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense to be the TikTok text-to-speech voice. Oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs> We haven't seen that sprite yet, have we? <laughs> Susie does not approve of this. She does not approve. Uh -huh. No, that's not good. That's even worse. No, that's, that's, no. Is Susie gonna say something about her face? Maybe hinting that perhaps Susie, okay. Seems cool, and she's like, oh, ho, 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 ho. oh my god, just she has just such a really, really weird way of talking. Like, she doesn't talk like a human, or I guess like a person. So, I guess she's a computer, so she, <laughs> dude, oh my god, the way she talks is so weird. Oh, it Holy crap, you're totally right. Wait, that's the Twitch smiley that she's gonna turn it into. That's the same Twitch. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I'm looking back and forth between chat and this. No, I love the way she talks. It's really, really weird. It's not quite like drill, but it is, it is what we might call terminally online. <laughs> Yeah, no, we don't want Noelle to turn into a Twitch emoji. Yes. No, she's she's terminally online, but I don't I don't think she's quite Drill. She's but she could hang out with Drill. Like she and Drill would be able to understand each other. They would speak the same language. Yes. <laughs> Susie's just like, could you try speaking like a person, please? Oh my god. Toby... I feel like a lot of the characters that I've seen quoted in Homestuck have really weird speech patterns that sound super online too. So... Maybe that's part of what inspired this. I suppose, yeah, being the internet, you would not have a high opinion of adults. Okay. Alright. That makes sense. One thing I... Okay, so I've never followed or really read Homestuck, but it has a very strong flavor that you can kind of pick up on, and it's really interesting because there I don't think there was anything like it before it came out, and now it has shaped the way like an entire category of people communicate online. So there's people who, who were Homestucks who now people think they talk like Undertale because Undertale had some elements of that, which I think is really fascinating. The lack of. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I love you, Susie. Susie's really mad. Is 
stop mashing the button, Susie. I know it's tempting. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This... Oh no! 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 Oh, but they were so cute and this was against their will. This is bad. This is bad. The wires, yeah. All right, hold on. They are sad. Oh, they're already tired, but I don't have Ralse, so I can't do anything about that. Um, bum, bum, bum. I want to look at them and probably die a little bit. Sleepwalking through a nightmare. Yeah, that's really awful. So she's pretty much terrible to her own people here. Toss Chris to free the wire, yes. Oh, we're gonna do this. Oh no, this is more complicated, okay. <sighs> oh, I got both of them, excellent. Zing. Isn't Zig um, a, an all your base thing? Ah. Oh, I don't have my heal. This is not good. We're going to have some trouble here. Unless we get Noelle and she becomes my uh, my healer. No! Zzt. Zzt. Smells like ozone, yeah. Okay, that's one of them. I'm really having some trouble here, sorry folks. Eek! them now yes oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no I took some damage bye cracks sorry folks I'm not catching chat because I'm I'm really struggling with this The fights feel less like random encounters. I guess they're not random encounters here the way they were in Undertale. Oh jeez, I'm really having some trouble here. All right, we did that. Oh man, Susie. Well, it makes them feel more like, like planned encounters. Oh, geez. <gasps> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay. We still gotta go rescue the girl, though. Hey, not a skeleton, welcome back. Oh, man. Yay, oh, look at, look. Okay, so every time Susie smiles with like a big happy face, it just fills me with joy. And that is a very good question. How did he get here? Did he walk outside into the light world? Has Azriel actually been skipping university to live in the dark world? Is he somehow traveling through the dark world? I don't know. But he's definitely in some way connected to Azriel, I think. Susie is definitely the most interesting character. So I would say she's I would say she's my favorite character for that for that reason as well. Uh... How did you get here? 
Yeah, look at how intense she is. Are we going to tease her for this? <laughs> it's not art. I don't know. Susie is definitely the real protagonist. Like, she's the main central character from what we've seen so far. Which is good when you have a character, a main, a main character who doesn't speak, you need to have somebody who experiences things and reacts to things more strongly. So... And just to be clear, folks, um, when I ask these questions, a lot of times I don't, um, I don't necessarily want to be answered. A lot of times this is me speculating and thinking out loud. So if I do want, like, if I'm like, if I'm like, oh, I really want to have like an answer to a question or a hint on something, I'll be like, chat, please help me. So if that is, if that happens, I will let you know. And if you're, if you're unsure, feel free to ask and be like, okay, Lauren, is that rhetorical or do you really want us to answer that? <laughs> and I will, I will clarify. And yes, Sweet Odin definitely has the character who comes with you a lot to uh, to uh, explain and react and, and provide input and things like that um, because your main character doesn't speak. Uh. Susie does care about Noel. <laughs> No, you gotta go save the girl. So... So, like... I've been feeling really uncomfortable about traveling around in Chris's head because especially for the first while of chapter one, like, basically all the way, almost all the way, until you leave and go back to the light world. I didn't feel like I knew anything about Chris. So I thought, you know, okay, I've overwritten Chris. I've overwritten Chris's personality. I don't know what Chris's personality is. So I can't play as Chris. Chris is probably miserable locked in there. Um, but, uh, but actually, actually, um, oh, was I not, did I, yeah, I mean, controlling Chris. Um, and I, I felt really bad and kind of uncomfortable with it. But I feel like I actually know Chris. Like, Chris is choosing to strike a pose because they think this is awesome. They think this is super cool. <laughs> um, and I love that. Because, like, now I feel like I'm like, Chris is actually a character to me. Because of the little details, um, the little details that we get in their personality... Um, the little details and the things that they've said to people that we only hear the responses to, the details of people telling stories about them, all of these things, their observation. Like, I'm sorry, but the, 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 the throne of the gods has gotten taller. Oh, hubris. Just like, who, anybody who would say that is somebody that I feel like I could be friends with. Um, yeah, so like, we know that Chris is a prankster. Um... And we know that they think, like, they really feel like they think this is cool. They genuinely have befriended Susie. Like, a lot of the stuff that, um, a lot of the stuff that, um, that they, like, they, cha they take their own actions. And sometimes we take actions for them. But I feel a lot less uncomfortable about it now that I feel like I have a much more solid, it's still not like a, like a solid solid, but I have a much stronger, I feel, understanding of who they are. Um, Janetta Scientist, I disagree with you, which is totally fine, but I am going to play my playthrough um, operating under the assumption that the way I'm interpreting things is correct. So just to warn you, <laughs> um, it's okay for you to not feel comfortable making declarative statements about Chris, but I feel like we've seen enough for me to make, say these things. Obviously, it is possible that the game will contradict what I've said, especially since I'm still probably pretty early in this. Um, but <laughs> no, that's fair. That's fair. I just want to make it clear. Um, because one of my personal sensitivities, because we all have our personal sensitivities due to bad experiences that we've had in life, is me feeling a certain way and people being like, you're wrong in the way that you feel and interpret and think about this is wrong and your taste is wrong. Um, and so rather than me getting weird about it, I just try to state for the record that my, my, um, that, that, that this is, this is how I feel. And that's just how it is. And it will stay that way for me, mostly to assert to myself that it's okay for me to feel that way, even if other people disagree. So it's good to be like aware of your potential shortcomings and work around them. No, 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 no. Genetic scientist, it's not you. This is what I'm saying. This is a problem I have. And so this is me cutting off my problem <laughs> before it becomes a problem. Um, 
Yeah, Roxy, that's it. Like when you talk to the co- to the characters in the light the light world and they talk about Chris's pranks and reacts to things that Chris does or doesn't do. Like we know that Chris, we know that there are people Chris really cares about. For example, Noel and Noel's dad. Um, we know that there are people Chris doesn't like. We know that Chris likes to play pranks on people. We know that Chris has a lot of love for um, Azriel and misses him. Um, and I would absolutely, the knife pie thing being Chris messing with me, that's funny. Um, yeah, well, I love that, I love that Kara flavor text, uh, Undertale theory. It makes me very happy. But I feel like this is, I feel like this is Chris talking to us. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Another stretch. All right. Yes. Please do tell me if, if we get a stretch redeemed because apparently Flutiebot is not telling me that right now. <sighs> Yeah, Toby Fox is doing really interesting things with the narratives. Just make sure you stretch. Roll out your shoulders if you can. Yeah, no, Chris, without a doubt, considers Susie a friend. And I think that's really cool. Oh, I should probably hydrate too, huh? I think my water cup is empty. I'll be right back. You can sit here with these characters posing awesomely. I love, I love, like, we've got, we've got totally cool and mysterious. And we've got, like, super cool and, like, badass. And then we've got, I'm cute. It's really charming. It's very charming. Good job, I'll say. I'm gonna get water. Hello. Oh, my uh, my voice, as you can probably tell, is beginning to go. I will not be recording narration for the uh the audiobook podfic uh tonight you should also drink water and roll out your shoulders if you can we'll go for a little while longer see how this is all right <clears throat> let's go go team go oh my controller did the thing i'll need to figure that out at some point no music Come on, where's my rocking, like, digital techno chiptune something track? <laughs> Stream until my voice is all gone. I don't know if drinking wine uh, is hydrating. I don't, I don't know. I don't drink, so I don't know if that counts. I know soda isn't. I've heard all the good music. Where is my another medium? Let's jump down the thing. Why not? What's the worst that can happen? Hold on. I'm going to need to heal. Next party. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Do you see the little dancing music bot? Dancing music bot. Dancing music bot. We've met... what I wanted. nostalgic sound right there.
respect to this. Oh my god. I want to meet the music bot. I hope the music bot becomes my friend. You know once it goes to that tinkly little thing there, you know what's about to happen. And you're like, yes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, and then it does. <sighs> oh my god. So on the subject of Toby Fox making things feel immediately nostalgic, that's that's such a fascinating thing because it's absolutely true. Like, his games feel familiar even though they're fresh and new. And now we have actual nostalgia for Undertale to build upon. But even when Undertale came out, and part of it was like the the obvious like musical references to things that were inspiring to him that were from my childhood. Like, can we just talk about the blatant Final Fantasy VI aria scene? But like, part of it I think is the like retroness of the sounds that he uses. But I also think that part of why, so nostalgia? Because it's not just the music that does it. Nostalgia is the is is usually like the good part. It's the good feeling of something in the past. It's not just a uh, like. It's not like nostalgia. I mean, it can be work. It can be it can be tangled up in things that are that are uncomfortable or things that are that are hard. But the nostalgia is the part of it that we miss. And I think one of the things that Toby Fox is so good at is capturing the way that those stories felt to us and that we felt about those stories when we were kids. And I think that's what, I think that's what people go looking for. And that's why people think that they want remakes. And sometimes remakes can really deliver a fantastic experience. But what people want is not actually the same thing again. They want something that makes them feel that way again. And I feel like Toby Fox gives us that. And also his music is just incredibly, he manages to tap into something. Like he's, he's like absorbed all of the musical styles of all of these things that we like. The people who play these games. Um, we, uh, okay, you're a nuke. I will say, I will say it is the most in character thing in the world for me to be. If I'm like five steps from like some big thing and I'm just talking about the music, I'm sorry, you should have seen what happened with Hades and the electric guitars. Um, but I feel like, like, I feel like there is something incredible about, I don't know, just how he manages to, oh, Am I off camera? Oh, I am off center. Sorry, folks. I can't see my camera very well. Oh, you know what? I can do something about that. Let me do something about that. That'll help. Okay. I'm actually double screening it for once. I managed to make that work. I just, I have the game down here and you folks up here. Yeah, he like, he, he like absorbs all of these things and he, he manages to understand what makes them good. And then he distills his influences into like this highly concentrated form of everything that is good about those influences for the people that his, his stuff resonates with. Because there's people who don't like his music, there's people who don't like his games, and that's absolutely legit and fair, although I have found some of them get really... <laughs> mean when you talk to them about it um but uh but like i think he so perfectly captures that he understands it and he's pulling from the same inspirations that inspire and move us um thank you to everybody who's following by the way hello i'm lauren the flute i'm the slowest player ever and we will eventually get through this game <laughs> I have met people who don't like his music, and I've definitely met people who didn't like Undertale. I met one- I know one of my friends hates Undertale because it's not- because he wants it to be a different thing. And that's entirely a way for a person to feel, but I'm like, you- you- 
You can say this isn't for me, but you can't, you shouldn't be angry with it for being something else. Um, but thank you, uh, Fibone Pink Rebel Maker Victa Ghost for following. And thank you for chatting too, like some of our newer faces here. Whether you wandered in because you wanted to see who is playing Deltarune, or maybe you, you've seen some of my stuff on YouTube or whatever, like welcome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us and I hope you have a good time. Because I sure am. <laughs> This is some of the most fun I've had streaming in a while. Like, I have it so that I don't see how many people are watching because it can be kind of stressful whether it's a small number or a big number. And I'd rather just be like I'm hanging out with my friends and talking to folks. <laughs> well, Mukai, I'm glad that you're I'm glad that you're you're de lurking even for a little bit to check in with us here. Um, but feel free to lurk as long as you want. Um, but. I don't know if I know anyone who disliked it because of the music, but I do know people who don't like the music. See, I'm sitting here wanting to tell you folks what I felt about Undertale from the beginning. <laughs> but I'm realizing that there is at least a significant percentage of you who I don't need to tell that. <laughs> Hi, Fortune Cookie. I like your name. Oh, I guess that's true, Chrono. Uh, but it wasn't his first game. It was his first shipped complete game project, but he'd been making game projects for years. And I think that's super important to realize because I think that people can look and be like, wow, he came out of nowhere and made this incredibly brilliant, like generation defining game. Um, but he, he didn't. He didn't start with it. He made a lot of things beforehand. And so the skills that he had going into Undertale were refined. So don't feel... Don't feel critical of yourself if you're like, this is my first project and it's not as good as Undertale. That's fine. And I'm sure he made a lot of projects that never got finished and people didn't see. So, yeah. I see Moon, thank you so much for uh, for de-lurking. <laughs> um, just to say hi, feel free to lurk if you like. Um, well, I'm excited that some folks wandered in here randomly, that's nice. But yeah, no, make things that are fun for you to make and if they wind up connecting with, like if you finish it and it connects with other people, fantastic. But if it, if you, if, if working on it, even if it's unfinished, is still something that you enjoy, like then it's a success. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I like to talk about the fact that Toby Fox doesn't have really traditional music training, which makes his music a little unintuitive for people who do. Um, but he has he has musical training from the School of Hard Knocks, so to speak. Um, and like he's made a lot of music, and he learned by making music and working with other people to make music how to make good music because that's a legitimate way to do it. You don't have to go to school for something. And I've talked about this um, before, but you can have you can have training, and that's one way of doing it. But there's so many different ways of learning, and the most important thing is just if it's something you want to do, just do it. Just make it. And if you don't know how, ask. Find a community that is supportive, and uh, and and let them let them help teach you. There's a lot of things that I have no idea what I'm doing, but I have friends and they know what they're doing. <sighs> Shout out to my friend Robbie in chat who managed to explain something about reverb to me after years, me, years of trying to learn basic like mixing and stuff like that. I was finally at a point where I could learn one more piece of information and Robbie was like, here is one more piece of information for you to absorb. And it was great. I don't know that stuff. I haven't studied that stuff. I don't have that experience. Robbie has a lot of knowledge and experience in that area. Um, but, uh, but then he was working on something and was like, something isn't quite working for me and this is something Lauren knows. I will reach out to Lauren. And that is something really important to remember. Like, you don't have to have all of this knowledge in your own brain. Just as in Deltarune, Having a party of friends makes a big difference. All right, well, let me know if you want to share more stuff with me, Robbie. I'm always excited. I believe in you. <laughs> 
Ja. There are people for whom Undertale just doesn't resonate, and that's totally fine. There's tons of things that people love, mostly comedies, <laughs> that aren't for me. And I've had to accept that, like, that's all right. I think you can say that you think something is badly done or has a bad intent, but I also think it's super important to differentiate between I don't like this because it's not for me and not my taste and this is not good. So, yeah. Anyway, I don't know how many times I've gone on this rant this weekend, but I will continue going on this rant because there are so many people out there who want to make things and say, I can't do art. I'm not an artist. I haven't drawn since I was five. Well, do you want to draw? Get a pencil and like a piece of notebook paper and like open up a tutorial on DeviantArt or something like that if you want. Or Tumblr, I guess, has a lot of those things these days or something like make stuff. Do you love music? Cool, you don't have to play an instrument. You don't have to read sheet music. Get a thing. I can't, I don't know what the things are, but there's other things you can do. Smash some keys and move things around until they sound good. Download someone else's project and move the things around and figure out what they did that was good. Um, and if you like to write, which is my specialty, read things, write things, and tell the story that you have to tell in your heart. And it doesn't matter if it's saleable, it doesn't matter if it's good or serious or true art. Like, I got my MFA in creative writing and put a lot of pressure on myself to try to write things that were good enough. But you know what got me unstuck after like two traumatic years took away my ability to write? You know what fixed it for me? Goddamn Final Fantasy VI fanfic that is 140,000 words and counting, and I love it. It's so much fun. And there's other things I want to work on that are original and stuff like that, but like, you make things that you're passionate about, and your life is better for them. It doesn't have to be groundbreaking. You don't have to go viral on Twitter or become the next big thing. You love it. You, uh, you make friends and find the people that it that, that it clicks with and you can write to them I have five people who leave me comments regularly um, blue glass is one of them thank you friend um, and and that's nice that's a bonus it's good if you can find people who who like mesh with your who vibe with your vibe um, but that's that's good I, I've got the water I've got the water I'm sorry I have the water I'm sorry You can hear my voice going, can't you? I will lose my voice and still keep trying to talk. You might wit witness that today. <laughs> I should probably drink some tea when I'm done here. Yeah, um, but it's also important the fact that Toby Fox has called in friends to help. I I'm learning with projects. I have to call in friends to help and it's good. Yeah, and Robbie, I didn't really sleep last night. I tried really hard, but I didn't. This is exactly what I want cyberspace to look like. Thank you, Toby Fox. Oh my god. It's the... It's the, like... Synth wavy, chip toony, 80s ish, little bit of early 90s ish, like. And you gotta have the city in the background, like. Get like some like slight, like. Mega Man X slash Proto Man vibes, like. Yeah, Mr. Lambda, unfortunately, I'm really bad about wrecking the pacing on music and timing with these games, but I think that's really cool that it works that way. I don't know what a resistor on a PCB is, but that sounds like a cool interpretation. Uh, 
Oh, Mega Man Battle Network has cool, cool, cool art. That's what I know about it. I've never played it. Oh, the little doodads on a motherboard. I know what that is. <laughs> oh my god, Stennis, I like that. That's right, I'm a scientist. I'm good at that. I'm sorry. Yes, I am filled with the power of a new adventure. And I know that Tubby Fox likes the awesome Mega Man games because the song that might play when you fight Sans is totally the Mega Man X sound font. Which is great. You want electric guitars? Why, yes, I do. Thank you so much for providing them. <laughs> How did you know? I keep it so secret. Uh, Cyberfield. Oh my god! Cyber Peacock! Uh. Cyber Peacock? No, that's Mega Man X. This is so cool. This is so cool, and the lines are perfect. I'm sorry, I need to stop just grooving to the music. I can groove to the music and play the game. In theory. I can't talk to it. God, it's so cool. Like, it's just, it's so cool. Toby Fox has a really good idea of what's cool. Oh, holy crap, no, go away! Oh my god. Oh. I have to free them though, don't I? Oh, right. Oh, good, I got healed by that save point. Mm. Okay, there's one of them. Please don't die. Oh shoot, that's that's the opposite of not dying. Oh jeez, sorry Chris, I'm letting you down. Chris is depending on me to not get them killed. I'm sorry, friend. Magic is flashing. Oh, 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 thank you, game. Thank you, game. There's music. We were, okay, yeah, we have to recruit them, okay. BGB. So cute. Oh my god, the music is just so good. I can't handle it. Can you handle it? Teacups? Got these like ridiculous trollish way trollish way of talking about like armors and weapons and things like calling them armors. It's the sort of thing I would name something. But then he also has this really strong sense of what's super cool, you know? He's so cute. Oh, he doesn't have he doesn't have a defense item. Sorry, 
I can't not do this. That's right, it is from that Charles Barkley game, which I have played. Had some very funny stuff in it because I do like absurdism, but it uh, also had some humor that aged extremely poorly. <clears throat> I don't know why there's teacups in a computer, but I suppose there's teacups in a computer. Oh, oh, oh my God. What is this Donkey Kong Country? I'm sorry, this is just gonna keep happening. Yes, she absolutely would, Pink Rebel Maker. I think you're correct. Be my friend, please! I bet it's gonna be a boss. But look at how cool! You're so cool! How are you so cool? Be my friend? Oh, oh, oh! Shoot, that was my fault. Sounds really cool. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry, folks. I, there's something fundamental here I'm missing. <laughs> It's just, it's so good. Oh, and a tutorial. I think. Oh, Cyberpedia, editable Cyberpedia. Oh, oh, I want to know about that. A little more nuance to the genocide run type thing. care about that. Uh, hi! That's right, they did tell me the internet was having an outage. Secret to the Queen's know-how. Oh, so she's not doing so hot without the internet. Cute digital cats. Oh, honey. The internet has so much to do with that. Taskers. That there's a pun in there, and I don't know what it is. Task. Petting. 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 Okay, I can't heal yet, but I will try. She has the need of some management. File management. Oh meow meow wow wow. Tasks. Oh my god, task management. Oh my god. This is this the task manager? Control alt delete task manager. Petting. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh my god, it actually is making a meow sound. Amazing. Oh, you can talk to all of them. Oh, 
my god, I love the little sassy, sassy, sass. Sassy, sassy, sass. So great. I also love kitties. My kitty is currently probably hanging out with my roommate. My kitty was so sad when she saw me about to get on the computer because of yesterday's mar marathon stream. 12 and a half hours. Holy crap. She sat on my chair to try to keep me from sitting on my chair, so I need to spend some time with her tonight. You have a hat. Oh my god, you have a hat. If you didn't know, an evil ruler is taking over this world. I don't like politics, so I have no penis. Dare I say this might be some real world social commentary? Oh, you're right. There's a trilby. Oh my god. I hadn't even thought about that. Yeah. <sighs> oh my god. It is kind of, it is kind of, kind of reddity. <clears throat> so it turns out, <laughs> it turns out that when evil rulers try to take over the world, some people don't have an opinion on that. Tragically. counts as a full tangent. I'm sorry, Discord. If I let you down, I can, uh... <laughs> yeah. Although I will say I am not afraid to go down that subject on my streams. You should have heard me during Final Fantasy VII Remake! There was a person who like didn't watch me play the game but their friend would be like okay she's ranting again and would like give them a timestamp to me going off on a rant <laughs> um because there's a lot of things with real world peril no 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 i accidentally went the right way how dare how dare how dare oh my god look at how cute she is though oh my god she's so precious Okay, good. <laughs> well, honey, we go both together. Oh my god, the fact that she calls her honey, it's just, it's amazing. Oh my god, amazing duck. Well, I'm glad to know it's like me and everyone else. <laughs> this is not a uniquely Lauren problem. This is a, this is a universal Deltarune problem. All right. Yeah, well, we're here to rescue the girl. I want there to be, I just, I specifically want fan art of Susie being awesome with her weapon while Noelle like, clings to her. You know the type. You know that picture. You know what I'm talking about. I want it to exist. <laughs> yes. Oh no. Oh good. I'm glad to know that that fan art exists because I want it. <laughs> Oh my god, this queen. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, so so her being like a, 
addicted to the internet and having lost her internet connection and then going out of her mind explains why she sounds terminally online. Can we come running on? Like, run, 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 run. Oh man, look at this, look at this, Susie is here to save her! Oh my god, you see this serious Noelle, we're here to save you, oh my god. <sighs> oh yeah, no, that was, that was a very intense Susie face. Oh no, Susie did not make it better. Oh no. Oh no. Oh look at her face. Look at her little mogu wobu. It's a great design choice there. It's so expressive. You know what she makes me think of? Hexadecimal. I always felt like Hexadecimal and Kafka would be a good ship. Not like for the world, but for each other. I was trying to figure out who she reminded me of, but I was like, it's something really 90s. Yes, Hexadecimal from Reboot. I'm so glad that so many of you know that that's what I'm talking about. We just need to find Bob and we'll be good. Oh, excellent, Remaris. I loved reboot as a kid. I'm sure this is shocking to all of you. <laughs> I thought it was so cool and sometimes they had really dramatic and tragic stuff for what it was. Oh well. No! Look, see, see the way Susie's reacting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm shipping them. I'm shipping them so much. I'm just really excited about this, okay? Folks, I haven't... I don't think I've had... This might be wrong, but I don't think I've had a pair of gay ladies to ship since I came out on stream last year earlier this year, last year, whenever that was. So let me be really excited about this, okay? <sighs> okay, I'm, okay. And you can thank Aerith's red dress for that moment. <laughs> oh man, look at this, Susie's gonna charge it and save her. Amazing, amazing. Okay, good. I just, I'm self-conscious about it. <laughs> it turns out when you closet yourself for a very long time, you wind up with this really weird fear of letting anybody know. <laughs> for example, if you're like shipping two girls, you can't let anyone know. You can't talk about it. Even if you're like totally like cool with anything happening anywhere else, but you can't let anyone know. <sighs> you can't let anyone know. Hmm. <laughs> That's great. I don't know if they're canon, but they feel like canon, so I'm gonna act like they're canon. Nick, that's fair. That's valid. I mean, there's evidence to indicate that, so you go ahead. Just They can all just have one big happy family. <laughs> huh. Sorry, I keep trying to harmonize because I'm trying to get better at that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm glad that you folks found the last last time I played Deltarune. It's quite troubling. Willing. No, you don't. Okay, well, we're gonna have to fight you now. We don't have a save point. We can't fight you. Unless there was one up in that room that I missed. You guys, hey. Oh my god, look at her, look at her smile trying to win us over. <laughs> Are you doing anything right now? Uh, 
That would be- I love it when people lean in to make it- make it gayer. Like, Re uh, Rebecca Sugar's style. I'm all in favor of that. on the internet who just made this their profile picture. <laughs> this is true Toby face, yes. Oh my god, amazing. Amazing. Um, 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 everything that's happening here makes me deeply uncomfortable. Why was it on a food platter? Oh, don't make me play an arcade game. I'm so bad at arcade games. No. Her proportions also make me think of characters from Zack McCracken and the Alien Mindbenders. But that's very specific and I think too much before Toby Fox's time. So. Okay, Susie, you play the game for me. I will sit back and relax. <laughs> Look at her smile. Look at her smile. I can see that now on. Oh my god, the her on the okay, amazing. Susie does not approve of the existence of an arcade game she hasn't played before. Amazing. Yeah, well, and I feel like, I feel like the proportions in that era of LucasArts games, like, some of, I think there might have been some others that were like that. Maybe Manic Mansion? I don't know. Sorry. Oh, man. How do you know this, Ralsei? How do you know that Chris is good at games? Have you perhaps in some other form, in some other life, played games with Chris? Never. Never. He's not being very good at secretive secrets right now. It is possible that Chris told him. It is possible that he just made a guess. But he knows things he shouldn't know. And so... <laughs> I forgot you were a nerd. Those might not be heels. Those might be her feet. <laughs> he could be talking to us, that's true. Yeah, that's how he that's how he poses. We are the good guys. <laughs> Obviously that's what the good guys do. Uh are, is this is there a soda machine in here too? She's talking. I remember typing out the the not equals as a regular thing when chatting on IRC. Sorry, the music distracted me. Why does it take quarters? Oh my god, Susie! Have you ever been to an old-fashioned arcade? You've only been to the ones with cards? You know, I love- I love the little, like... Bottom text commentary thing, it's great. That you're very good at games, he says, even though he had already assumed that we were. Oh man. Excellent, a twine game, that's cool. I tried playing around with that and realized that interactive storytelling is not for me. But I love it. Full 
folks. I lead a video game cover band. I used to work for a video game music label. I spend a lot of my free time more than I should writing video game fan fiction. I stream video games for strangers on the internet and friends on the internet. I, uh... I'm sure there's things I'm forgetting. Oh, the fact that like most of the like art and stuff on my walls is video game art. And most of the music I listen to is video game music. Um, I'm sorry, Chris. I'm overruling you on this. And I'm gonna say, at some point I turned around and realized that games, video games are so hugely central to my life. I cannot even imagine a life without them. Yes, I actually looked into being a games writer. Um, uh, applied, had had some conversations with with some potential companies, um, but in the end, it was not for me. I will stick to writing my stories and doing marketing and branding and stuff as my day job instead. But yeah, I am definitely a gamer like that. In fact, there's a group in my local hometown that is gamer. They, it's, it's Toronto Gamers, and my roommate is, 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 is with them, and I am probably going to try to do more stuff with them when it is safe to do things again. I do like the gamer girl joke because I like roommates. Well, we're going to pick this option because this is overwhelmingly the answer for me. Amazing. It's nice having it's nice having the two of them in contrast responding to Chris talking because we don't hear that. But if it's a monotone response, then that means that either maybe they're being sarcastic, maybe that's me overruling what their answer would be. Who knows? Oh my god. It feels like something that Chris would say to be funny that way, but I don't know for sure. Cheering you with pom poms. Ba -da -da -da, ba -da -da. <laughs> okay. Ba -da -da -da. Oh my god. Happy birthday, Susie. <laughs> oh my god. And we know that Chris and Asriel did play games together, but Chris doesn't play video games without Asriel there because the TV wasn't even plugged in. <laughs> I love everybody wishing Susie a happy birthday. Thank you all for the happy birthday wishes for Susie. I will I will I will pass them along to her. Happy birthday, Susie! Thank you, Toby Fox. I take back my earlier complaints about a lack of flavor text. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's what I figured. But just in case. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Alright. God, that laugh. I wonder who did her voice. Oh my god. Okay, are we gonna do a fusion? Am I gonna stand on his shoulders? What is gonna happen here? There are so many possibilities. Oh, it's a callback! 
a Lancer! Oh my god, amazing. Amazing, amazing. That's incredible. A transformation sequence? Oh my god, I'm gonna stand on him and she's gonna give extra power to my hands. And we're transforming with the power of friendship into a super form. Oh my god, I love it. And the sound effect and the background and the everything is just so good. Do you see the degree of friendship that's happening here? Do you see how much friendship? <laughs> Amazing, as that was the splat. Okay, I'm concerned. Okay, hold on. Telling me how to play. I, I discovered the ducks by accident. Oh, well, I was trying to. Oh my god, she gives me the option to try again. I like that it has retire because I'm pretty sure that's what Punch Out says. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, I timed that badly. Now I understand how to play the game so I can do this. Oops. Hold on, sorry folks. Oops. All right, we got it. We got it. Her head is, your head has slowed. Your head has slowed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just, okay. That was, that right? 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 Okay. I, okay, good. I'm glad to know. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Toby Fox. <laughs> Often I feel like this was in fact made for me, even though I'm like, but you're so much younger than me, Toby Fox. How did this happen? How? How? <laughs> we use the power of friendship. Also tutorial from her. Oh my God. Oh goodness. Oh, there we go. Chrono's got it with the star. I have some some uh, doubt that this is actually exceedingly benevolent. <sighs> mm. 
the warm bosom of my hellish rain. <laughs> I love the options are bosom or perish. Okay, you folks never do this, but I see a whole lot of bosom, so... Normally, I will do the exact opposite of what chat says, just to warn you. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay, well you can all go to horny jail. I will perish with my honor intact. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Personally, I think that should go in Flutie Bot because I'm very clever. I feel very clever about that myself also because I feel like it would be good to have a quote we can bust out <laughs> whenever folks need to go to horny jail. Because sometimes folks need to go to horny jail. <laughs> yeah, so here we have a little bit of concern about Chris being enthusiastic about this. <laughs> Ralsa is like, I'm gonna befriend her with the power of friendship. <laughs> Mega Parish? Susie is not on board with this. Oh my god, Vanessa, amazing. Thanks to the scientists. <laughs> Megabytes. Oh my god, no. She's reviewing herself saying nice. Alright. Right, I forgot how good the music was. Power of video game violence. How are we doing on recruits? I don't have enough of them yet, but I guess I'm not done yet, so... Oh my god, look at my dancing robot friends! Okay, oh my god, first of all, you are in a suit and you are adorable. The memory sticks, oh my god. Overpriced bagels? What? Donuts. Toby Fox is really... Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have to talk to these cool boombox robots. CD bagels, oh my god. Oh, you're right, Elmira. I did want to. Oh my god. <laughs> These eyes. 400 bagels for $80. <laughs> uh, I don't understand, so. <laughs> You're really cute. Oh, there's gonna be. Oh, hello. Oh, the butler is cleaning up. Oh. Oh. You're gonna be my friend.
<laughs> Am I the literate one? How did you get your hand? This is a thing that I had when I was a child, I swear. That exact sound. He sampled it exactly. Speak and spell! Speak and spell! Thank you! Yes! Thank you! Okay. Yes! Oh my god. Newberts. Oh, you're Newbert. Okay. I was polite this time. I did not just take Newbert's treasure. I figured I would ask Newbert first. Thank you, Newbert. Borrowing it forever. Thanks, Newbert. Newbert, Newbert is very cute. want it because I don't care about my attack and I like my fluffiness being up so I'm gonna ignore it but thanks Newbert do you have something to say now that I took it okay no oh my god all right Newbert we did it oh I missed that God, Toby Fox. So how did he introduce Newbert in the stream? Oh my God, Roxy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Roxy, thank you. Okay. Well done, folks. Well done, team. Oh man, amazing. So they just, oh, that's fantastic. Oh, alas, I can't do this one. Uh... Horns and running. Okay, hold on. First of all, we gotta go this way. <gasps> it's the, the pointer. Hello, pointer. Are you thinking hard? Hacker's gonna have to the blue checks marks. <laughs> okay, I can recruit you. I do have a cool city. Checks quest is on the beginning. Okay. Oh, thanks. Oh, hello, cat. Cat? Cat, get back here. I need to fight you so that I can make you my friend. If this works the way I think it does. There, there, good kitty. Meow, meow, meow. It's qu it's quote and then add and then and then the quotes. what they're saying. Sorry. I missed what they said. It's okay. I will find out again. Yeah, the recruit system is a nice... Oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see this kitty butt? Kitty butt be my friend! It's interesting that there's horns on the head. Illustrating it looks like an eco- What are you? You look like something from Earthbound. Viro Viro Coon, oh my god. Alright. So like... Take a moment to talk about the state of healthcare in the US. The state of healthcare in the US is very bad. Sorry, the music. Yes. I'm using what might be referred to as a dramatic understatement. I, um, I have to admit, I'm happy to see a little bit of politics in Deltarune. It shouldn't be political to want people to not die. Just a thought. 1997. Oh my god. Oops, I walked right into that. Do you see our doctor variants? Do you see how cute we are? Do you see how cute we are? Do you see how cute this team is? They are precious. Ralse is bringing a cake. Susie is wielding a syringe. And it appears that I am Dr. Mario as, as Chris, but also with tea. Oh my god, it's a syringe rifle, you're right. All of the enemies felt great. Kindness is contagious, yes. Oops! Oh, goodness! Let's try not to get hit by this. Alright. Oh, I forget that I have the ability to, like, sing them to sleep and stuff. Okay, fine. Okay, she might be trying to trick us into agreeing to all terms. No, that's not how it works, you see? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was about to go look to see if I could spell a swear. Yes, it's definitely an end user license agreement sort of thing. Hold on, I did it wrong. Okay, hold on. Oh, no, I have to actually solve puzzles? This, this is garbage. We're gonna regret this. Yep. Oh 
Oh man, folks. Folks, once more. Free will versus control. It's almost like it's a theme of the game or something like that. <laughs> He's another guy, probably. Okay, so she can't actually control this. Cool. Oh, we did it. God, the music is so good. God, they're so cute. ask you what ride to take, but I guess... Are you gonna tell me? Okay. Do hold on. There we go. Oh, I wasn't high enough before. Okay. Look at look at the way Susie sits. Look at the way Susie sits. Amazing. Oh my god. 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 Amazing. It glitched out a little bit. Amazing. <laughs> what? What? You just walk. I don't... I... I... I just walked. It, it, I thought that you were joking when you said that it was hard. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, I just, I, I had faith that it would give me the right step if I just looked. <laughs> No hacks, thank you for following. Also, I know there's probably a few friends who I've missed who followed. Thank you for following if you followed in the past. I don't know how long it's been since I looked. I thought I tried talking to Rosse. All right, Ivy Snow, you and me. We're the cool kids. <laughs> we get a special sticker to put in our sticker charts.
I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't not groove to this music. I feel like I'm like the, the, the cat, the meme cat that's just like in the corner like rocking out. <laughs> oh my god, fairy puncher. Oh my god, fairy puncher. Oh my god, fairy puncher. <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you for that. I don't even read these guys stuff. But you so perfectly nailed that feeling. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. I want to like just like like screenshot like I did the thing. <laughs> I feel cool. I don't feel like I get tons of opportunities to feel like I'm super cool at a thing. So I'm gonna gloat. Okay, so I think that means all three. So I think it means I'm gonna do my thing. <laughs> that those are his life priorities. I see them, they're blue. And then they flew off. And they made a firework. Oh, they made fireworks in our faces. Did you see the fireworks of our faces? Amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it really is. It really is. So like, I remember discovering the, um, oh my god. Oh, incredible! I really like the, 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 the lights and shadow, that's cool. So like... Can't go through there, I'm gonna get smushed. Um... I heard the music from the original Deus Ex and I was like, what is this? I need more of it. And the answer was, oops, demo scene music. I was like, oh, okay. I need this in my life. Um, and it was a great discovery. I was very late to the fact, but. Okay, the green one is telling the truth. So that's good to know. Bum, 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 bum. God, this music is so good. And then it stops. Oh, hello, rocking friend. You're pretty cool. You look like you might be ready to fight me, though. Hi. Wait, where did my friends go? Oh, my God. I'm excited there's new music. So I don't even mind that you're trying to kill me. If the jams are good enough. Those are some sweet jams. Hi friend, be my friend. <sighs> Twerp is such a great insult. Sweet. All right, sweet. Sweet Captain Cakes. No, I haven't, but I do like cakes. Scrap Dragon, thanks for following. remember anything with them from Homestar Runner but that doesn't surprise me I'm not my memory is not the greatest and I mostly like if it's not strong bad I don't know it as well I'm also here for the scrappy hip-hop robot resistance don't resist me no we're like no oh my god oh okay nice Oh my god. Oh my god. We're rebels, not players. We're rebels that play, <laughs> don't play. Oh my god, KK. 
Whoa, you were not built like the rest of them. I didn't realize that you were so tall. Oh. Oh my god. Amazing. They do kind of have reboot energy. I don't know what this melody is, but I assume it's a thing that I'd be excited about if I knew it. Oh, am I gonna fight them with this music playing? Yes! Yes! Battle music! I was hoping they'd have custom music. I probably should have saved at some points in the past. Not dancing. Oh, is this Lena? Oh, that's awesome. That's cool because the music is supposed to sound different for these for these folks. And so having a different composer helping for a song is a great way to do that. How clever. Oh jeez, don't don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh, you guys have lots of attacks. I guess you're like a boss or something like that. <laughs> okay, I got a lot of points. I'm gonna check all of them, sorry. You're gonna have to tell them. Yeah. Check. <laughs> oh, they look up to each other. That's really cute. We're gonna dance. Oh my god. We're dancing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at look at our dances. I don't know anything about dances, but I feel like Chris is trying to do the like Russian dance. Oh, is that the peanuts dance that Ralse is doing? Whereas like I feel like I feel like um Susie might just like wander into a wander into like a pit or something soon, you know? Amazing, okay. Oh, they're all dances from Charlie Brown Christmas? Okay, that's really cute. get them all to dance we can win thank you or I'll say for for telling me how to play the game oh my god I love this it's really wholesome I mean they're also still trying to kill me but if I do my job well then I won't die no Music is really catchy. <laughs> Do they pay the menu fee? <laughs> I 
My bandmate wedge would like this. No! I'm gonna just keep doing this. See if I can figure this out. Oop! That was close. Yeah, I was beginning to wonder. It's a great idea. Oh my god, Ralse is so cute. Look at how cute he is. Sienna, that might be actually why I have a slightly easier time following their attacks than I did with some of the others. Oh goodness, Menden, that does not sound like it would have been fun. Ralse is allowed to, to backseat. He's the only one. That's Chris's unique talent. Oh my god, are you serious? We just introduced a new mechanic. Oh, that's great. Oh my god, Susie. She's aggressively dancing. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, amazing. It's okay. Actually, I don't know if it's... Oh, so this is cool. The three of them working as a team. We have to. We have to work as a team, too. Special action. No, so it's Susie action and Rolfe action. Oh my god, we're dancing. Look at how cool we are. Yeah, well, I'm really curious. I'm really curious about what this means as far as everybody being able to act in some way. Sorry, the music's really good. Everyone is dancing. This is a good crowd. I hope you're dancing too, chat. Come on. Oh my god, we're getting a music video. Yes! Dance montage! Look at how cute they are! Look at how cute we all are! We all won this battle. Every single one of us won this battle. Oh no! All right, Avalon has, has has says to stretch, so we'll do that. Arms over your head, folks, and we're we'll stretch. Stretch to the side a little bit, and then stretch to the other side. You don't have to get up and dance. You can you can groove in your seat. That counts as dancing. Roll out your shoulders. That's a thing that I think we could probably all use. I certainly could. They're really cute. And I really like that they feel like their own thing. You know? Okay, the face of the one at the bottom makes me think of a Barog from Cave Story. L.A. Watson gets it. Oh man, Jer, well, it only took me six hours to get here. <laughs> that is the question, Doodlewill. See, you can just sit in your place and groove. <gasps> friends! Oh no, friends! I always thought toaster, personally, but they're all valid. It's specifically just the eyes on the portrait. <laughs> they think they beat us because they're the heroes. Oh my god. 
Just go with it, Susie. Oh, Davey. oh my god, I love the way that they I love the way that they say French words spelled out uh, phonetically in English. It's great. We jammed the door shut, but we'll kick it open. Alright, we're a rebellion. Amazing. Okay. Oh, hey, pals! Hey, friends! Oh my god, look at how cool Susie looks! Wait. That was really cute. They didn't feel like walking with me, they just wanted to stand and watch it. That was really cute. And cool, I like it. Ooh. Changed your mind, friend, huh? I hope I haven't missed the wires. I've been playing for six hours. <sighs> Which brings us to 18 and a half hours streamed um, in, a, in, in a weekend. So I'm wondering, I'm consulting with you. Is this a good stopping point or is there a better stopping point within the next half hour or so? Because if we can get, if we can get to a better place in about half an hour or so, that's fine. That's kind of what I was thinking, Rudras. Because, again, I streamed for 12 and a half hours yesterday. My voice will be gone if I have, if I, if I take a few more hours of talking. Um, I would, I want to wait and see the shop when I'm fresh. So, so how do we feel about next weekend? And just trying to keep. Okay, does, does everybody think I want to see the shop first? I thought it might be a good I thought it might be good to start off a stream with a new cool thing. But if everybody really wants to see the shop. Okay, everybody wants to see the shop. Well Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Youngin. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Let's do it next time. I will try, Chrono. So... Is that when a lot of times when folks are like one more thing that's actually the thing that I should start the next stream with um, so I'm thinking this whole streaming at noon for a few hours is a pretty good plan and I don't have any plans for next um, next Saturday how do we feel about Saturday at noon next week and see how far we go The music is so good. <laughs> Thanks, Jerwell. You'll if you if you play it all between now and then, you will get 
far ahead of me because I am the slowest person in the world. <laughs> and maybe I like we'll see. We'll we'll determine how it goes next next week. How exactly we're gonna proceed? How many streams we think it's gonna take? Um, <laughs> well, thank you so much for the raid, Jer. And again, folks, if you're not following Jer and you like listening to awesome music, my friend Jer is a great place to go for a fun time, good humor, and fantastic music. So, yeah, I'm sorry that I'm not able to catch everybody with the convenience of this, of the, like, I feel like doing it on weekends is most useful for most number of people. Um... I did not, Fang. I did not do the bad time route, and I'm not going to, and I'm happy with not doing that. So let me go ahead and give my final, like, good night thing. Um. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lux. I'm really glad. So just to remind everybody, and for those of you who are watching who've maybe not seen me before. Oh my god. Jer, I've been streaming for six years, um, and my regular streams are getting between, like, 20 and 40 viewers. <laughs> So I think it would probably take quite a bit for me to get to the point where I could make partner. It's something that used to be a goal of mine. Um, oh my god, Adam, thank you so much! Thank you for your gift subs. I really appreciate it, everybody. So if you're, if you're new to my streams, or you're somebody who only watches me on YouTube but you think you might want to stick around um, more regularly, we're very, very close to the end of Suikoden 2 on Tuesdays, which is a replay of a game that I love very, very much. Um, I think we're probably about like a week or two away from finishing that. Um, I might be misjudging, but I think that's about right. After which we might play Metroid Fusion. Um, and then I want to do Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah, Jer, I thought you might like that one. Um, and then, uh, Wednesdays I've been playing the Final Fantasy XIV's main story quest. I'm in Stormblood. It's kind of a weird, uh, stream because I'm still learning to stream an MMO. And Thursdays we're playing Hades. If you like the way I approach this stream and you have any interest whatsoever in Hades, you might have fun with us because I talk a lot about the music, the characterization, what's going on, what I think is going to happen. Um, also, I'm apparently psychically connected to Zagreus because I'm always saying the same thing he is before he says it. Um, so I'm going to be dressing as him for Halloween and I might put together a Halloween concert, either the Sunday of Halloween or the Sunday before Halloween. So if that sounds like fun, I might have some of my friends playing. Um, so it should be a good time. Fortune Cookie, thank you so much for cheering. I'm so glad you came by. Um, and yeah, please, like, if you want to follow us on our Discord, this is basically what we're like. We talk a lot, we're really friendly. Um, I really enjoyed having some new folks up there, so thank you for anyone who's new who's joined our Discord. Um, if you follow me on social media or the Discord, those are the two best ways to know when I'm streaming. So if you, like, forget that we're gonna be streaming on Saturday with the re with more of this game, um, uh, if you fall, even if you don't want to do anything else in the Discord, there's two purposes for somebody who doesn't want one more Discord to keep track of. People will make it so they get an update. I have a stream news channel where um, my bot automatically posts when I go live, so you can have it so that notifies you if you want that notification. And then the stream spoilers channel is for yelling about games that I haven't seen and talking behind the scenes about all the spoilery backseaty stuff that you that you know and I don't know. And it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, you know, Doodle Will, I don't have big thoughts on the soundtrack because I only know it through that, through that performance. I liked the music. I don't know how much of that was the brilliance of the arrangers, but I imagine it's good music. And your spoiled chat I've heard is a good time, so I hope that you all have, have fun if you hang out there. Um, and maybe I'll start doing things like this more often, um, because this has been really fun. And like I said, I've been feeling kind of burned out on my regular streams to some degree, and I feel like I need to mix things up, shake things up a bit, so maybe we'll talk about that and see how that looks. Um, but probably not 12 and a half hour long streams. <laughs> probably not 18 and a half hours in a weekend. That's probably a bit much. But it was really fun to push myself and to see like, oh, I can do this, you know? I, uh, I really, I really, I don't know. It's just, it's been super, super fun. I didn't feel wiped yesterday. Um, no matter how, like, even though I was tired, I was also wired from the experience, and that's why I, like, literally couldn't sleep. I tried so hard to sleep. Um, Veronica, like, I'll talk about that some maybe next, next weekend some, but so far, I like it. I've been kind of talking through my thoughts as I, as I, um, as I have them. 
Um, thank you. Well, maybe, maybe we'll talk about some other games that you think might be fun to do more this kind of atmosphere. Um, we'll see. Um, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm at the point where I'm happy to think about rethinking about the way, like, some of the stream options that I have and things, so. The lore of Deltarune, based on the new info here, I feel 100% more comfortable with my relationship with Chris between the player and the character. I feel way more comfortable with it. I still am convinced that this is Susie's story. Ralse definitely knows things he shouldn't as a darkener, so there's more to him than we know. Um, and I'm really looking forward to finding out more about that. I love that they're going to be expanding um, outside of like the just the cast of the first game. And I'm really curious to see what happens with Noelle, if she becomes a playable character, or if she's kind of like Lancer, where she's, I guess what you would say, like a... Uh, what do they call it in Suikoden when you put somebody in like your like secondary section you bring them with with you um, but uh, but yeah I don't know like it's a big it's a big convoy thank you blues it's a big question to ask what I think of the lore of Delta rune I feel good about it I feel good about it no convoy is what I was thinking of blues blues got it because um, it's like a special box where you're like they're not technically in my party but they sit there Lancer's doing all right in my inventory <laughs> Let me rest my voice. I, oh my god, my bandmates at conventions and stuff, they'll be like, Lauren, if you don't stop talking to people at the merch table, you're not going to be able to be the front person for the band and talk into the microphone and introduce songs and then sing at our concert. So could you please stop? They will force me to sit behind the table against the floor somewhere else and they will like forcefully take over and be like we're gonna run the merch table you need to stop talking here's some tea sit down <laughs> you should hear me if i get sick and i get laryngitis and i'm still trying to talk. they're like oh my god Lauren, just stop i can't stop talking it's my favorite like i just i just there's so many words <laughs> the thank you again so so much um and uh yeah and I'm gonna go ahead and do my little like own like promo plug thing <laughs> if you want to follow my fanfic <laughs> that I talk about a lot. It's like one thing that I'm very excited about. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be working on a lot of a lot of new things. And if anyone who's still sticking around as a voice actor who might be interested in being part of my podfic of Final Fantasy VI, hit me up on social media or Discord and say, yo, I'm interested in this. Here's kind of my background or my voice type. What what do you have? And uh, maybe we'll maybe maybe we'll see how that goes. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Um, I should probably raid someone, but my brain isn't working, so I might see if I can find somebody, but I'm gonna go. Thank you so much. I'll see you at noon next Saturday, and I'll keep everyone posted if anything changes. And I'll try to put this up on YouTube as fast as I reasonably can. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. You've made my weekend so much better. Um, so I'm very grateful for you. Thank you. Please take care. And then be good to yourselves. Good night. <laughs>